Hello, and welcome back to Alien. This is Chariot of the Gods, part three. Uh, I'm Kelly, your mother for this adventure. And I hope you cleaned your room and did the dishes, because tonight is going to be unbridled carnage. It's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, folks. So welcome to Alien 3, uh, which is widely known as the best alien uh, of them. Uh, so we're moving, not even remotely. Uh, so hey folks, we're moving into Act 3 of Alien Chariot of the Gods, and uh, thanks for joining us in this actual play. Uh, as I said before, I'm Kelly, I'm going to be the one running the game. Are you seeing him? And I'm excited to be here, because I'm finally just going to start killing people, left, right, and center. Um, we, we have worked through our problems with the map in, in Section 2, and now we are ready to do some damage to these players. Uh, I am really looking forward to this. So, uh, as we are going to to ruin the the, the characters days and and make the players have fun let's go in and say hello to each of them let's do a big circle starting with james who are you uh who are you playing and uh what up uh hello there i am james i use he him pronouns and uh, i am playing captain vincent miller the uh the legitimate captain that well uh well uh, no more my poor ship exploded now i'm stuck on this thing with these with these folks all right. Uh, James, where can we find you usually? Oh, uh, here? Uh, you can find me uh, either uh, usually on Dork Tales, or uh, sometimes you can find me over on Dire Bear Gaming or on Precarious's channel. Nice. All right. Robin. Hello, everyone. I'm Robin. I use she, her pronouns, and I am playing the pilot, uh, Leah Davis, who, um, yeah... She doesn't have a ship to pilot. I guess she's going to try and do this one, but uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, it's going to be I'm good. I'm excited for death. All Bring right. To me. Part. All right, down to Krista. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm Krista. I, I, you can use she, her, or they, them pronouns for me. Um, and I am playing Kayla Rye, our roughneck, uh, just one of the workers on our boat here. Uh, and uh, you can find me predominantly here, um, but you can also find me on Saturdays at uh, Lawful Stupid RPG on Twitch. Uh, hello, Christine. Hello, I'm Christine. Um, I use she, her pronouns. And I am currently playing... An interesting mix. It was Lydia Cham, who is a roughneck, she, her pronouns. Turns out that she was actually Lucas, the android in disguise, who uses he, him pronouns. <laughs> um, but you can also find me here on a regular basis on Dork Tales, or on my own channel, at Lady Liliana, where I play video games. All right, sounds good. And finally, last but not least, uh, the corporate scum, Michael. I mean... Corporate scum? What? I don't know. Well, if that's the case, and this is Alien 3, then that means I'm going to be dabbling with a lot of uh, how things operate around here, and I'm going to break everything and make it the worst alien ever. Mwahaha! Hi, everyone. It's me, Michael, going with he, him pronouns, and I'm playing John J. Wilson, the best thing about this entire story. The, the, the hero that you all really want to look up to, and... Uh, <laughs> No, no, no one's believing that either. Oh, no. oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm doing my best with what I got here. A whole bunch of uh, broken people who are just in dire need of something resembling leadership because the captain ain't doing it. Uh -huh. Shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, just to give there you a sense, there will be shots fired. There will be shots fired. Uh, there already were. That's why there's we're, we're an additional captain down, uh, which uh, happened last game. Last game, you all managed to survive the explosion of the Montero in order to board the U.S. CSS Cronus. There might be too many S's there. I can't remember. Uh, nope. I exactly named it. Nailed it. It was right on the screen. Uh, where nice. you encountered a strange derelict ship that had been on a distant planet doing an archaeological dig. Uh, there, the crew had encountered something very strange, which they apparently brought wa back with them in the form of fungal spores and potentially some other uh, larger threats. Most of the crew had been killed either by strange beings uh, or by themselves, and you managed to rescue a few of them from cryosleep. The ones that you rescued were uh, Second Officer Albert Johns, who later succumbed to uh, whatever this pathogen was uh, and went mad in the, um, uh, in the bridge area and was killed uh, by Wilson and 
uh, Clayton, a company agent you rescued from cryo. Uh, also there uh, was Cooper, a scientist uh, with a definitively Scottish accent the entire time, uh, who had uh, also started to lose his mind inside of an elevator with the rest of you. Uh, as he did, uh, a strange creature burst out of his skull that looked very much uh, like an like a like a Giger print. Uh, ripped a bunch of you apart. Managed to escape the elevator. Came back a few minutes later as a much much larger version of itself because these things defy the laws of physics for calorie use and. Um, was killed by a combination of flamethrower and massive personal trauma, but not before almost killing each and every one of you uh, and taking your android's head off their shoulders where it now dangles like a Christmas ornament. Uh, do you have something that you were going to add, Robin? I didn't realize that was the same thing. I thought it was a different different alien. They grow inside of minutes. Yeah. yeah. They are lovely. It's, it's kind of funny, though, because the, the neomorphs, they grow from, like, puppy sized to juvenile like great dane sized in a few minutes but then to grow to their full size it's like they have that awkward teenage stage when they hit juvenile and it takes them a few extra minutes yeah you know yeah. We, we've all been there that's like acne they spit acid out of them like <laughs> oh <laughs> ew you know that someone Gross. proposed an alien high school cartoon at one point in the 80s ripley's going there the alien's one of the jocks Alien cheerleaders. And Ripley's just <laughs> trying to get the number of that cute android bishop. <laughs> I would have watched that next to the Teen Wolf cartoon, which oh I God. canonically remember and have a very awful story I'll tell you during the podcast, if you remind Perfect. me. <laughs> uh, a very a very rough and and surprisingly adult personal story about the Teen Wolf cartoon. <laughs> what? So tune in for the podcast. Yeah, tune in. All right. Also, thanks to Free League for sending us this module. Um, Free League is a really wonderful publisher both to play games under and to work with. Uh, we receive no money for doing this, sadly. Uh, but I did receive a bunch of free PDFs to use to run this game, which we have been using a lot of. I also own the book myself, bought it for myself a couple Christmases ago as a present, and I'm happy to finally be able to use it. Um, but thanks to Free League for giving us the tools to run this. Look forward to doing it in the future, because these games are a hell of a lot of fun. Um, and if you enjoy this, let us know in the comments or on Patreon, because this is a Patreon advance game, so our, our loyal patrons at patreon.com slash dorktales are getting this uh, a few months before everybody else. So let us know what kind of games you like. If you like more stuff from Free League, I'm happy to run more stuff. But more on that after the game. Okay. Uh, and finally, as we are going into this, um, so you defeated that, and uh, then, uh, yeah, um, from there you discovered that there was another being up on the second floor catwalk above the vehicle bay, um, which you were making your way to. Uh, I don't think you had quite reached her yet when we ended the game. No, I, I believe Davis... We oh, brought right. it you... back down to see if Chan, or Lucas Chem, mm. Chukas, Chukas, could fix Lucam, Chamal and Ding Dong. Yeah, um, yeah. I think I remember that happening. That's I right. I have I have two of you on the bridge, and I have the rest of you in the vehicle bay. Vehicle bay. Yes, along with the NPCs who didn't get icons for for my quick thing, but I will just. I will there do this. There are icons in our heart. There are icons in your heart. There we go. So we'll say that this is one of them, and this is uh, another of them. Oop. Very nice. Yes. You know what? Is Great James camp. frozen or just not moving? Oh. He's fully James frozen, might be right? James frozen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I glanced over and I was like, he's been in the exact same spot. <laughs> Just like looking left. regally <laughs> up to the yeah. camera. Soldier, you weren't cleared for leave. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. My whole computer just locked up and died. Get to the brig. Ah. D you right. can't do that. I'm the captain. <laughs> That's insubordination. Of what? Of what ship? God damn it. <laughs> you lose one ship and suddenly you're not a captain anymore. Now I'm just like an accessory. It's not fair. You're a handbag. 
pair of earrings. A gold chain. <laughs> a monkey's paw. I don't know. These are all accessories. All right. So, everybody good to head back? Yes, I'm curious about your your constant accessories. You went to monkey's paw for accessories. I mean, if it's on a if it's on like, yeah. You don't carry a monkey's paw around? I don't. That's not <laughs> in my like roster. For when you really want to give someone the finger. Yeah. That's true. Canadians, man. Like <laughs> You know what? I don't want to. I don't want to get into that right now. It's been a week. You gotta hand it to them. Oh. 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 God. <sighs> Internal screaming. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> I keep. Being oh, yeah, like... Sorry, I can't. I can't hear you. We're in space. Yeah. No one can hear you. <laughs> All right. We're back. We're back. All right. Uh, so besides that, um, uh, I think we're about good to go. So I have all of you down in the vehicle bay. I have uh, uh, Wilson and Clayton on the bridge. Clayton. Um, and uh, I think that is good. The last thing I'm going to do real quick is that I did not do so at the end of last uh, of the first game or the second game. Uh, I did it before this one. So uh, story points, because we are running this cinematically, you will have access to story points based on your agendas. I'm not going to say what your agendas were, but I'm going to grade you accordingly. Miller, you have succeeded two of your <clears throat> agendas. Uh, so you gain two story points. Story points, uh, for everybody who needs to know, can be used to add an automatic success to any roll before or after you roll. Why would you do it before? I don't know. Just just do it. Um, it does not mean that your stress doesn't go off, but uh, hmm? I was oh. I was gonna ask because it, it it wouldn't like if you failed a roll, but it doesn't count towards like stress. You wouldn't re-roll. Oh, no, it just gives an automatic success. Yeah, gives yeah. an automatic success. All right, and everybody jotted down how much stress they had before, right? Yep. Okay, good. Uh, all right, Davis, uh, you have two story points. Rye, Whee! you have one story point. Wilson, you have two story points. And Lucas slash Cham, you have one story point. Okay, so now that that is done, the last thing that I have to say is, everyone, please do me a favor, and if you are capable of taking stress, uh, take a one additional stress, please, for unknown reasons. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm at five stressy wessies. That's great. That's great. That's six. Does interacting with your item remove all stress? No. Uh, Just okay. one. So let's do. So you have so to. I, uh, I do have. I I have one more um, nap relief, which does re reduce stress. So. Nice. I don't know. Uh, so interacting with your personal item. Uh, uh, Skill roll, NPCs in panic, removing stress, where is it? Relieving stress. Uh, once per act in cinematic play or once per game session in campaign, you can interact with your significant, your sign signature item in some way to reduce your stress level one step. This is a slow action. So something like, like oh, Santa Maria, you know, touching your cross yeah. and saying a mm -hmm. prayer. It's not something virgin. you're doing in combat. <laughs> I mean, it's a slow action, so you could. So you could, yeah. yeah. So you could use it to to, to find your to find your equilibrium. Hmm. Right. All right. So in space, nobody can hear you uh, scream. Uh, but uh, you all ready for this? Hmm? All right. Any last questions before we begin? I think we're good. Okay. Uh, so I have sent each of you your Act Three motivations. Uh, I will. Those will go active, basically pretty soon. I'll announce when they are active, though. Okay? Well, let's begin the game. On the bridge, Wilson, you and Clayton stand in the ruins that were once John's. His lifeless body lays on the bridge floor, seeping blood that begins to coagulate rapidly becoming almost gelatin as it oozes into the ground, bits of his exploded head from the shot that you leveled into it, leaking viscous gray matter onto the floor. Uh, I used the butt of my gun because I actually ran out of ammo. Oh, that's right. That's right. You bashed his head in. Never mind. So the, yeah. the, the head that you bashed in is leaking the matter then. My bad. My yeah. bad. 
Clayton catches her breath and leans against the console. We need to get this hunk of junk up and running, and we need to get the fuck out of here. I, I got the pilot on the way. Uh, the captain's there. I mean, I got the captain thinking that he's going to run the ship if he gets up here, so... He's going to probably get them all up here as quickly as possible. I think we should just get ready for them all burst through that door at any moment. Have you been vaccinated? No, I've barely been out of my suit. I don't trust the air in this place at all. The moment you're out of that suit, you're going to need one of those vaccinations. I don't know, but... They don't seem to be working that well. They work a hell of a lot better than the ones who weren't. And I'm not about to risk my life or my payload on this. She uh, will walk up and kick the side of John's corpse. But you got vaccinated, right? And I'm fine. I'm just pissed off. You sure? You got any, uh, any screaming headaches at the moment? This entire ship is a screaming headache, but if you mean, am I suffering physically? No. Well, good. I'm not suffering either, so we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. If you want the payout, I need those samples. Your crew said that they had them. Well, if I'm you willing... like, you can run down there and go get them yourself. How about you I'll have your here. crew bring them up? Yeah, they're on their way. I also need you to make sure that Flynn survives. Why Flynn? He's our scientist. He's a medic. He's the one that helped create the vaccine. He has more knowledge than anybody that's left alive since Clayton is... Well, if your crew's to be believed, absolutely not part of the equation anymore. Uh, yes, Krista. Did you mean Cooper? Because it's Clayton talking, Damn it. isn't it? Why are there two C names? <laughs> yes, so... Uh, blah, 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 blah. The actress forgot her lines, and... Okay. If, if your crew's to be believed, Cooper is not part of the equation anymore. Well, I believe them. I mean, they've been nothing but trustworthy. Whose side are you on, Wilson? I want to get out of here. Huh. Well, I want to get out of here and get filthy rich. Well, just make sure that's the priority of getting out of here first. Being rich and dead is not going to help you. Yeah, it didn't work for the pharaohs. We transition across the ship. Now, um, did was someone headed up to the bridge to meet them? He's, you said you called the pilot. So does that mean, Davis, were you on your way up there? I think he called us before, like, in the elevator we were fighting that thing. And so I think... Um, I think we've gotten a bit distracted by, you know, the creature and then finding mm -hmm. the android. So, you know, I think eventually Davis might remember, but I think she's focused on finding the new, a the getting the new android, android up and running because it was heavily damaged. But I think Cham had rolled to see if, if he could fix or Lucas could roll to. <laughs> fix to uh try and fix I think there was duct tape involved lots yeah lots I think so tape. I think um Davis will be like um what would you like us to what would you prefer to be called um Cham Lucas um is there a preference you have either is fine they both describe me all right, if it's okay with you, I think I'm still gonna go by Cham. You, that's uh, 
course, Davis. All right, so. You've dragged down this body into the vehicle bay. The vehicle bay is still full of tension in the air. The smell of of burning, I would say flesh, but it's not. The smell of burning insect? The charred chitinous, or, yeah, chitinous is right. Uh, the, the charred chitinous smell issuing from the elevator, the, the smell of oil and steel down here, and cobwebs and dust cling to every surface as well as the sickening acid scent that issues from the elevator. The rumble of space and motion is all around you. And you dragged down the creature. The android is, well, female in appearance short hair uh, an attractive but not too attractive face the black of her hair is parted at the back and slicked down with the wet sticky white of android blood where her head has been cracked away The wound comes in right behind her right ear. And anybody who wants to try to repair her with this, uh, let's go ahead and make a roll to see how fast you can do it. Uh, that is going to be a... Uh, that is a... Uh, they say page 77 of the rule book, but they are wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, so can be repaired. Breakthrough, inquisitive, pilot talents, officer talents, is it the same as yours, Christine? Does your cheat thing for Lucas have like a repair option? Okay. I remember you were um, looking at it, but it like the took rules a long for time. androids are on page one eleven. One eleven. Okay. Repairs. Androids don't heal. Uh, a shift of work and a com tech roll is required. So whoever has good com tech may may try to repair uh, Ava. A shift of this is going to be a couple of hours. Okay, um, Cham, do you want, should, we should repair you first, shouldn't we? Hey, your head is looking a little, um, lopsided. <laughs> Folding it up, right? Uh, Ava might have additional information, Lynn will say. Of the original crew that you rescued, only, well, if you count Ava, three of them, but only two of them are still up. Flynn, a, um, a nervous medic, stands kind of rocking back and forth on his feet, and Reed, a short but thick colonial marine, kind of squats on the ground, holding her weapon in her hands, kind of cradling it against her chest. She stalks still, where Flynn is very nervous. I don't know. I'd rather have somebody else with a gun here to watch our backs. I would rather have the the, the information. She might have seen well, something. She was out of cryo. Maybe I can work on Ava, you said? She's uh, Ava, Ava 6, our Ava 6 unit. Okay, um, I can work on Ava. Maybe someone could help Lucas ch with their repairs. Because you have the knowledge, right? I, I, I'll do my best. I'll, I'll try. I'm, I'm not really specialized. I, I'm, I'm, I'm more for fixing people. Uh, by the way, is anybody here? Well, I know I, Cham was always really good at comm stuff as well, so you have the same knowledge, right, Lucas? Lucas, you are unable to fix yourself. It's one of your core directives. You're like an Apple product. <laughs> But I fixed myself earlier. You you duct taped your innards. I'm not going to count that. Okay, 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna count that. You can uh, hold well, yourself together, but not repair. Well, why don't <laughs> you can't make why a contact? Why don't you stay here? Um, I should really try and get up to the bridge to get this hunk of junk moving. You're gonna go by yourself. Reed I mean, says. I, I mean, either someone with a gun like yourself, Reed, or Captain Miller. Yeah, no one goes anywhere by themselves. Absolutely not. The corridors are pretty tight. Miller, why don't you go up there? You've got that... You've got a flamethrower. That's better in the corridors. My shotgun can keep... If we're in the center of the vehicle bay, anything that comes at us, I'll get a wide berth on. I also have a shotgun as well myself. Um, you guys should keep an eye out on that motion tracker see if anything comes at you we only have one of those oh yeah right so who gets it Christine um, I think last time when we talked about the other android it was of a type that was before they put in the no attacking humans stuff uh, you, you were pretty sure that they were yeah um, so Cham will try and kind of catch Rai mm -hmm. before they go over and kind of try and very quietly inform them of that fact. Ooh. Okay, um, I guess it's a good thing that, um, Reed is staying with us. Um, right. Perhaps, um, Okay, um, talking to everybody, um, perhaps we should keep the motion tracker if you guys are going to the bridge. You uh, yeah. should. That's, I agree. That's up and running. That sounds okay. good to me. That's that's what I was suggesting. I think I think you have it, Captain, but I think you uh, should hand that off to one of them. Someone can keep a lookout. We'll just have her, her ears and eyes up. Mm -hmm. about us and move fast those uh, will like unclip it from his uh, from his uniform and uh, he'll pass it over to uh, Kayla uh, I'll take it and give it to um, who's not doing anything Reed's Reed. just doing overwatch so that's probably yeah. a smart one yep good stay safe and if you see anything blow it the fuck up You don't have to tell us twice. All right, Captain. You okay? You're kind of sounding a bit groggy. Uh, just... I'm okay. I'm okay. Let's get going. All right. Out of character. Who has the samples? So there were... There was a series of... You have the samples. And there were... So there were two cases. Cases with, like, these steel vials. And there was also a case with, like... Uh, with inoculations. So I think you have both of them there, right? Um, I don't remember about the inoculations. I know Davis grabbed the drugs mm -hmm. and the the steel ones that looked weird because those were the samples we talked about. Those were the samples, she, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know I, if. She, I believe there was another box there, and I think I picked it up. Yeah, okay. I think so. Okay, but so I you, think I was. We were too distracted to really look into it. Yeah. yeah, I think I think so. It's like a like a hypodermic, like um, like a like a like a surgeon pouch, like the ones that like kind of wrap around. Like a okay. ve like a Velcro bag that kind of has like a little, yeah, a oh, bandolier, yeah, 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 like yeah. a bandolier. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, all right, so you're going to have that on you then, Miller, uh, as you begin to climb uh, up the. Are you heading taking the stairs or are you trying to use the elevator? Um, I think. I There's think really stairs only might be a better bet if we can if we can avoid the elevators. I mean. Yeah, I don't want to get caught I'm, in a box of one of those things. No. No, I think stairs all as much as we can. And now we're going to be going through a bunch of corridors without a motion tracker. Well, they get to stand in the open. Yeah, but they get to stand in the open in one spot. Now, quick question. Uh, for those of you who were repairing the ship, 
Um, did remind me, did you manage to get the, the reactors back online? No, I haven't even touched them yet. Okay. That's where we were going when this happened. Okay, so cutting back to the bridge. We still don't have any power, Wilson. Are your people actually doing anything to solve this? Well, they're probably trying to keep everything together right now. I mean, first things first. You need me inoculated or you need the power on? Exactly. I'll get them to fix the power. How's your air supply? Please make me a supply roll. Yep. <laughs> Who else is in a suit still? Uh, yeah, I, I guess, I, I, guess I haven't taken mine off. So everybody make me an air supply roll. So everybody put on some air supply in the background. We'll get copyright struck. It'll be great. <laughs> what was that again? The... Uh, so you're, it's whatever your supply is at. You roll that many dice. If you get a one, it goes down by one. Okay, and you don't yeah. use stress. You don't use stress on, on supply rolls. Do you want me to do more than one roll? Because it's been a while. I think that it's only been one shift, though, since the last time you've exerted yourself. So I think that I think that's fine. Okay, um, I'm fine. Okay. Ones, ones only matter for On this, negatives. if you roll ones, it'll drop you. Well, I rolled a one and a six. It doesn't matter. You rolled a one. Okay. So the the one is what triggers the the depletion. So that means that whatever your tank is at, so you were at two, now you're at one. Okay. So you are going to run out of air. You have a one in six shot of not having air from here on in. I so I rolled a six and a two, so uh, David okay. still has two. So you're still holding strong, uh, and then Lucas Cham doesn't need it. No, and I think I was still wearing a suit, but it got damaged when I got it attacked, did. so it's destroyed mm -hmm. anyways, and I just. I don't think I oh. need to breathe. Actually, I don't know if I... My suit might have gotten damaged because I, I didn't take any health issues, but I know I got hit. Oh, that's right. I destroyed your suit. So you definitely, yes. you're definitely definitely ruptured. So you are breathing yep. normal air now. Noted. Yep. Yep. Oh, shit. I guess that would be because I took damage too. Did you... Well, she got skewered and it destroyed her armor. Mm -hmm. You still have a point of armor. Right. Okay. I think you yep. got banged around. I you yes, didn't get I think that's stabbed. Correct. Okay. Right? Yeah, I got, got skewered. <laughs> so that is going to be a rip in your suit. So I'm going to say that that's just toast. Yeah, it's gone. So Davis is breathing normal air. Bre now. Breathing normal air. It's it it tastes bad, but it's not the worst thing. It's like being in like you know old earth. Yeah, stale. Old like Michigan. going into like an old musty building or something like that. You know. Yep. Blech. Back on the bridge, Clayton turns and looks at you. Fine. Are your radio still reaching them? Uh, we'll find out, and I will see if I can raise them. Uh, they are going to work with a little bit of interference, but you'll be able to get through to Rise. Uh, to Rise I'll, home I'll, radio. I'll be. I'll probably be trying to contact the captain, but Rye will probably pick it up for whatever reason better than the captain will. Because at this point. his his uh, his suit's damaged. This is helmet radio. There we go. Oh. Uh, Miller, are you down there? Um, Miller, uh, um, get back to me. M Mr. Wilson, um, this is Rye. Uh, Miller and Davis are on their way up. What? What do you mean they're on their way up? Where are you? We're in the vehicle bay. We... Something came out of Cooper and got real big real fast and um we, we took some damages and um uh but but they're they're on their way up up now i haven't gotten to the i haven't gotten to the reactors yet i i we, we found their we found their 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 um uh I want to call them droids. It's an android, right? It's a yeah. It's a okay. it's a sense For android. Synthetic. Synthetic. Okay, synthetic. Okay, that's what it. Is. Yeah, we found their synthetic, um, and uh, yeah, it, it needs it's real damage, but might have some information for us. Um, I'm I'm gonna try and repair that before we repair the the engines. That's probably a good thing. I mean, that's what you do. You're good at repairing things. So if you can get them. 
together, get them working, then maybe they can help you with the engines. But right now we're dead in the water. And if there's things running around on this ship, we need to get moving. So I'm not saying put a fire under this, but you realize where we are. Yes, sir. Just, just, I, I'm not a sir. I'm just trying to keep everything moving here. You, if you need anything, try to contact me. Like, you're safe right now, though, right? Um, we have Reed with us. Um, I, I think we're okay. Okay, well, if anything happens, let me know. I'm just trying to coordinate everything from up here, and if the captain's on his way, then so much the better. Okay, do your best. And then turn back to Clayton. Yeah, we're pretty fucked. And then we're gonna cut because on that on that look, I had a line prepared, but there's no way she could have segued into it. So, <laughs> all right, uh, down there, um, I want you to make me a com tech roll to start fixing the Ava Six. Uh, Flynn will do the same on. Uh... Before I do, I'm gonna take a slow action and. Mm -hmm get rid of a point of stress um she's gonna kind of kneel over ava and kind of look like she's starting to look at her but pull like a real crumpled photograph out of her pocket and just stare at it for a second and wipe a couple of tears and okay 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 you know you're, you're good you're good you're good you're good you're good <sighs> okay uh and then yeah lose a point of stress and then I'm gonna roll my. Uh, is it? It's Wits Comtech, right? Uh, I'm just double checking that. I believe it is Wits Comtech. Yeah. It is. Okay, uh, that's a big old dice pool. Ooh, there's some sixes. Six. How'd you do on the stress? Six. Oh shit! I rolled one on uh, one one on my stress. Okay. Uh, but I got three, I got a six on a stress die and then two sixes on my regular dice. Okay. And uh, so you, you rolled the stress dice already? Yes, but I did get one one on my stress dice. Okay, so roll me a d6 and tell me what your stress total is. Uh, my stress total is uh, one, two, three, is four right now. Okay, and roll me a d6 and let's see where six. that goes. So ten? Yes. Okay, so just checking the stress chart for you. Yeah, which I totally messed up both last games on how stress works. So <laughs> it's like I'm you were very that. stressed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I rolled all um, my stress dice again and added those together. Oh no. Okay, so um, Okay, sounds good. Uh, so you start working on Ava kind of trying to, to plug the hole in the back of her head, reroute some of her um, of her circulatory system. And as you lean in with some of your ComTech tools, like a little like micro screwdriver set, uh, like a pair of pliers, like basically they're not really pliers so much as clamps to like vice open the wound. There's gonna be a sound as you peel open the skull and you can see that the wound back here is like the tip of a spear jutted in here, rending into it. And all you can hear is the sound of the dripping liquid. All you can hear is the sound that that made as it plunged its fangs into your throat. Oh yeah, it did bite you in the throat, so it did rip your suit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, there cool. we go. Good to know. Good, good to know. Uh, all you can hear is the sound of your own heart. And your hand is going to start shaking. And the tool is going to fall from it, clanging loudly on the ground. Clang, clang, clang. You're going to freeze. And the sound of that tool clanging on the metal floor 
echoing throughout the room. Uh, everyone inside of close range of you, so that's going to be you and the NPCs, are all going <laughs> to gain a point of stress. Woo! Glad I got rid of that first one. I mean, that helps, right? Like, took you down. Yeah. Uh, how many successes did you get? Uh, three. Three successes. Because so successes are just sixes, right? Just sixes, yeah. yeah so three. Okay, three. Uh, checking wits. Let's see how fast you can make this. So, uh, success. The code is like music. You play it beautifully. For each success roll beyond the first, um, you don't need to overcome. The, uh, you cut the time in half. You cut the time in half twice. Do you want to do that? Yes, quarter time. Quarter time. Okay. So we'll say that at the end of this scene, uh, you will be able to patch her up. But my God, your heart is racing. Well, and I, I'm pretty sure I still have a twitch from last game. You do. You do. Yeah. <laughs> you do. Like and subscribe. All right, uh, Cham. Meanwhile, Flynn is going to start trying to patch you up, uh, and is going to need to reroll because he doesn't actually have stress. Because um, he... I will try and communicate that should just try and get my head on straight, and that's it. The rest will be fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm doing doing my best. You have a slightly different spine than a person. Yeah, no worries. Put a He's... stick in and duct tape. I don't have a stick. It's a vehicle bay. Uh, okay. Um, Surely we can find something and <laughs> hold the head in place and kind of start looking around. <laughs> oh no. To get a proper visual. Okay. Um. He is going to get up and like start looking around for something to jam in. He'll look at Reed, kind of like with like pleading eyes, of like, "Can you go look?" She. I am not going to fetch something for you. I'm on Overwatch. Go get it yourself. He'll make kind of a noise and start like looking around for things. Overall, though, he's going to spend the shift uh, legitimately. He got no successes in three ones on his repair roll. So. All right. Well, considering this is a, like, if I can... Not that I'm trying to give myself better function, but just trying to get my head on straight. Can I do that? Uh, like, I'll, I'll, I'll be say, pretty... I'll have to actually move my whole body to look around. <laughs> I'll, I'll say for cosmetic reasons, you can, but it's going to I mean, can splint my head upright. <laughs> yeah, it's it's going to mean that... Yeah, it's not going to mechanically change it where you, you cannot take fast actions. Your fast yeah, actions exactly. Your slow yeah. actions, because you're going to have to robot pivot at the waist. Oh my yeah, God. no, that's, that's fine. Hey, could the medic put, like, a neck brace on her? <laughs> not with <laughs> that many fails. <laughs> Yeah, he, but he, he, he Lucas feels. could put a, rip it a, off. a neck brace on himself. Uh, <laughs> you know, he's gonna for that like, cosmetic thing. He doesn't have a neck brace on him. Oh, okay. Um, if you ask about a neck brace, he can say, um, "I have, I have stuff like that up in medical, but we'd have to go up there." What floor is medical? Um, it's. Uh, uh, it's up on, um, it's up on uh, B deck. All right. Well, maybe when we get there. For now, I think we need to go repair the reactor, right? Uh, dead in the water. It's probably for the best. All right. Well, duct tape will get me straight enough. Uh, with that, um, you start heading up to B deck, which is actually where the rest of your crew is headed up. The elevator is going to. get you there as. Uh, well, it's going to get Miller and Davis there. The doors open in front of you. The living area is directly ahead of you. The crew bunks to your left, a corridor directly ahead of you, leading to the other elevator that's a bit out of use at the moment. Yes. What's up, Davis? We were actually trying to use the stair stairs. The two of you make it up to B-Deck, climbing up the stairwell. Miller and Davis. You pound the door open and find yourself nearing the bridge. It's a bit rough here, not having that, uh, not having that motion tracker on you. You can hear the sound of the of the ventilators, the air filters, scrubbing 
and working nearby, the shaft just behind you. As you make your way into the main hall, you're going to hear a sound to your right around the corner. It's a clang. Sounds like something hollow striking the ground. Clang. I think Miller's probably not going to react immediately. He's just kind of like, uh, like he's just he just looks really tired. Uh, I. Hey, I have like. I found some. I found some never sleep, some hydration. I have one more nap relief. Do you need anything, Miller? You're you're not looking good. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I get. I, I'm feeling just like it's really just taking it out of me. Oh man. Uh, yeah. Um, which were the? Sorry, what were those again? I have some never sleep, um, which, well, well, might you know, might make you feel a little bit. Uh, will wake you up a bit, but uh, you won't need to sleep. <clears throat> uh, and then the nap relief will take away any pain you feel. Yeah, oh, okay. Can I hit me with both? Yeah, sure. Here. Uh, I'm gonna take the never sleep first, and then the nap relief. Okay. And uh, Miller will so, pop both of those. So nap, ro- never sleep, um, which is why I suggested it first, um, will increase your stress level f- one step, and then the nap relief will relieve all the stress. Um, <laughs> but never sleep will, will make you not sleep. Like you don't have to sleep for a day, um, but you cannot relieve stress anymore now. Okay. But the nap relief will bring that down maybe so maybe do the nap relief and then the stress and you'll just have one stress level i don't know how that works mechanically for taking two drugs at the same time uh they both just work i don't think okay. i don't think there's any like cross risk well yeah i think you're right about the do having to do it in that other order though because if yeah. the one says you can't relieve stress then the nap relief is not going to do anything yeah 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 so take I'd... so you have one point of stress and release that but now you don't have to worry about sleep all right uh, mm. I'll get you going and um, oh god this air while it's Davis real thin. while Davis was giving out drugs to Miller Davis is also going to take a, a, a slow action and kind of just like fiddle with a bottle of empty almost empty pills that um, she has on her and pop one of those and reduce the stress herself as I will interact with my object. Sounds good. <sighs> Feeling better, Captain? Uh, yeah. Yeah, quite a bit. Yeah. Mm. Alright. What the frick do you think that noise was? What noise? That clang. Was it a clang? He'll kind yeah. of like turn and kind of angle his flamethrower towards it. You want uh, to check it out or go to the bridge? I don't know. Yeah, you decide, Lee. Um, I think I just need to wait for a little bit for this medication to kick in. Mm. Okay. Um, Davis will go and check out the sound. Stepping around the corner, you'll see that there's another artery hallway that connects to where the elevator would have dropped you off. There, you find the mess hall. It's completely ravaged. The place is trashed. Things are strewn everywhere. It looks like a can just rolled off and struck the floor. It looks like a pack of rabid raccoons has been through here. Most of the exposed food stores are rotten, covered in mold. But as you look around, you're going to see that, well, there's something strange here. A few of the cans have been stripped down. Some of the thinner aluminum completely stripped out. The thin metal folded 
into small origami swans. What? There are dozens of them placed around the room. And can no. I get uh, can I get a favor real quick? Uh, mm -hmm. Can I get you to make me a roll real quick? Can you make me an observation roll? Um, yeah, what is the... Um, so it's wits and it's observation, if I'm not mistaken. Wits and observation, okay. Uh, and... Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> I rolled a stress, um, so it's glad I also just relieved that. So three successes okay. on that, and then one stress, so I will roll my d6. Let's see how stressed you are. Um, it's a total of seven. I rolled a, a three, and I have four stress, because I relieved one just now. Okay. Total so of seven. seven. You are <laughs> going to get a nervous twitch. Your stress level and the stress levels of all friendly PCs in short range of you increase by one. So your stress is going to go up by one. Okay, and same with uh, um, Miller. Um, Miller, you know what? Don't worry about it, Miller. Uh, can you tell me the result of that roll I asked for? Uh, and Mike, can I get you to make an observation roll, please? Uh, do it at a uh, minus two. Minus two, okay. Minus two. Oh, cool. Clayton actually has ears. I have one, Kelly. One? Okay. Picking up one of those origami swans and just looking at it for a second. You're going to hear footsteps behind you. And then you are not going to be surprised uh, as Miller. Uh, what do you do, my friend? Uh, I think Miller is going to just kind of uh, he's gonna step up behind behind uh, Davis, and he's gonna just try to wrap his hands right around her throat. Just. Oh my god! All right, time for some initiative. Uh, ah! Are you gonna scream? Yeah, let's go. What the fuck? Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, turning at to choke that off. Yeah. <laughs> turning at Miller. Miller is going to start looking very strange. His skin has gone slightly translucent purplish. Uh, you are at stage. Let's see. Uh, sweaty. Um, his skull is beginning to elongate as you're watching. The bones cracking and stretching underneath the skin. And uh, his skin is going to be, like, pale and veiny. Uh, he is going to reach out at you, and it's time for some initiative. Oh, uh, boy. There's going to be a scream that only the corpos are going to be able to hear because you're mm -hmm. on the same floor. Uh, and I'm just going to swap to initiative, and let's do this. Um, uh, how do we, I forgot what we roll for initiative. Uh, that, it's been a little while, so it'll be right. fine. Uh, ranged yeah. combat, close combat, initiative. Drawing the initiative, grab 10 cards, number yeah. 1 oh, through right. 10 in the custom card deck. Blah, I already blah, got blah. them. Um, okay, so. Draw uh, card, number one acts first, yeah. Okay. So it's lowest to highest. James, you're number six. Robin, you're first. Yes! Uh, um, Clayton is 10, and... Okay, so it's going to go... Uh, it's going to go Davis. Then it is going to go Miller. Then it is going to go Wilson. And then it is going to go Clayton. For this combat. Okay, and uh, James, do you get multiple attacks? I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, I don't believe I do. I, I don't. Think I don't believe you do at this point. Yeah. Um, and the way this works is you can just attack as normal. You don't get like a signature move chart. Okay. So just have fun, my friend. All um, right. Can and, do. Okay. So uh, Robin, he is blocking one of the two exits to the mess hall. Mm -hmm. There is another one to the south. You could try to escape him. Um. He looks like like I'm seeing his skull change. Right. Uh, you are seeing his skull change, and he tries to reach out. Okay, um, if he has not, like, fully grappled, grappled me, um, 
Davis is going to, uh, as my fast action, draw my shotgun and try and blow his fucking head off. Okay. Uh, let me just check one thing about him real quick. So once he becomes an abomination, he gains... Uh, all right, your strength. Boop, boop. Uh, okay, so you cannot use stress or panic and cannot push rolls, uh, but your stats do increase. You saw that? Okay. All right, sounds good. Uh, I would like you to go ahead and make that roll. Now you're using a ranged, a ranged weapon in close quarters combat. So, yeah. um, it's a minus three I see on the ranged fire modifications for engaged rains. I'm guessing it's because uh, I guess it's called yeah. plus three. Um, uh, me... no, is that minus three plus three? Hold on, I'm just gonna check that at engaged range. You get a minus three because it's hard to draw a bead on an opponent that close. Um, oh, okay, so the plus three is if they're motionless or don't see it coming. Ah, okay, okay, so, it's a so... minus three. I have a plus two to my shotgun, so it's just a minus one. Okay, yeah, yep. Okay, so the way this is going to work is we're going to do... It's close quarters combat versus ranged combat. So I'm going to say that he can try to dodge out of the way since it's point blank. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, actually, dodging isn't a thing. This is blocking. You can't block a shotgun. Okay. Uh, I don't see... You may choose to block the attack to avoid getting hit. Um... I guess theoretically blocking, because it counts disarming, it could be like grappling for the weapon. So I'd, I'd allow that roll. Um, so James, what you're going to do is you're going to roll close combat versus Robin's okay. attack. Okay. However, um, Robin... I also am going to spend a story point to get one automatic success. Okay, don't forget that you can also push rolls to gain, yes. to gain more stress in a reroll. James can I can, And I can, um, there's something, I forget, with my... Reckless. Oh, I can push any skill or base on agility twice, so I can do this twice with my... Oh, damn. Yeah. That's pretty good. And it, it does raise my wow. stress each time. Oh, holy, holy crap! Holy crap! <laughs> I, I, I think she did well. I, uh, I James. Think James might be dead. He might be fine. He might be fine. You never know. You know what? I would have spent a story point. I'll allow it. Uh, so that gives me four successes. You know what? Spend two. Spend two. Why not? All right. Five successes. Five successes. How many did you get, Robin? I want to live just um, for a minute. My stress does go off. Of course. So that'll be fun. Oh, please uh, add one to your stress as well, because you're being attacked by a friend. A friend. Okay. Um, so you, can you I may, roll that die? You may, you may roll that dice as well. Oh, <laughs> give me another six. Um, so with my automatic success... Um, that's eight sixes. And, uh, I, my stress does go off. <laughs> okay, roll me, roll me a d6 and add it to your, uh, add it to stress. I think that uh, also oh, makes you run out of ammunition seven. too, doesn't it? Uh, ooh, yeah, it does. It means that your gun's out of yeah, ammo now. Your gun's out of ammo. <laughs> it's fine, but I got a shot off. You got a shot uh, off. We'll find out I how bad it is. I rolled a one on the dice, so, uh, that is... One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's only se it's seven again. Okay, so you're going to freeze. Uh, at this point, that means you're going to lose your fast action. Uh, and so uh, you said seven? I rolled a seven on the stress ice. And okay, I got so eight nervous successes. twitch. Your stress level and all friendly PCs. So you, you have a twitch, and then you have a twitch on the other side now. So yeah. many twitches. So many twitches. So many twitches. Um, let me just let me just let me see what I can do with my points. I probably will put it all into damage. But I, I think you probably you fun. might want to. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna double check. So you have a damage on that shotgun of what two? Um, do 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 three actually. Okay. Well done. Um, you inflict damage equal to the weapon damage. Blah, blah, blah. You inflict one point of damage. You pin down your enemy. Uh, you position yourself. To a, a next round, do, do, do. try to drop a weapon. Try to also, the ground is pushed back. Um, I think I'm gonna spend at eight eight successes. I'm gonna spend seven successes on damage, so ten, and then one in case he's still alive. He's gonna put push go like push back. Oh wait, which falls uh, to the ground. So on with, James's with roll, with block, yeah. Yes, you spend okay. counterpoints. 
so uh, it's not contested. So James, you can spend each one of those to remove a point of damage or to okay. perform a counterattack. Ooh. So uh, you perform a counterattack, dealing damage to the attacker equal to the damage rating of your weapon. Okay. Uh, your, which is probably bare. Do you have a weapon on you? What's that? Uh, you have the flamethrower. He has the flamethrower. I've got, I've got a flamethrower. I don't. I can't use it right you now. You cannot use it because you're um, too dumb at this point. Um, yes, uh, but, you but could, I don't know. I, I could bludgeon her with it, maybe. Uh, like, you know I what? Really I, I'll work. allow you to spend the bonus. These you're not supposed to be able to, but you're basically an NPC. So I'm going to yeah. say that you can spend it to damage on this. Cool. I think. Uh, you may I also... think I shall do that. Okay. So how many did you roll? I got five. Okay. Uh, so that is going to be rough. Uh, that means you are going to take a full ten points of damage. Was it? 12? Yeah, total 10. Uh, okay. And then one point to push him push him down. Okay, so uh, Abominations, do they... I just gotta double check something. Do they go down at zero? Just gotta remind myself that. <laughs> oh, right. Because I might flail. Because, like, Xenomorphs flail. Let's find out if you do, my friend. Um, okay. <laughs> What the fuck? Foam. Uh, let's see. Okay. Ooh, too bad you're not a mutant yet. That's too bad. Um. Okay. Uh, is... As long as you still have health left, damage represents fatigue, bruises, or smaller. Uh, if your health drops to zero, you are broken. In effect, taken out of action. Immediately roll for critical injury. If you're not dead, you can crawl and mumble through the pain. You can't perform any actions, and you can't roll for any skills. Uh, you can't get below zero health, but each further attack gives you another... Okay, so you are... When you're broken, you're out. So for intents and purposes, James, uh, okay. she is going to level a gun into you. You are going to hit her hard. Uh, so... This is what is going to happen. Um, James, at, you are going to, like, rush her. She's going to raise her shotgun. It's going to catch you, like, it, she's aiming for your chest. You're going to manage to grab the barrel and basically slam it into her sternum. Uh, Robin, can you do me a favor? How many health points do you have? Two. Cool. Uh, you're broken. Oh. He does oh. five points of damage to you. And I need you to roll me 2d6 and tell me what you get. Pick one as the tens column. Oh, okay. Before you roll. Yes, this is. Um, blue is 10, green is ones. 35. 35? It could be worse. Um, mm -hmm. So, and let's just check. So, that. is James not dead with 10? Uh, he is. Mm, he's not dead, dead, yeah. but he's out of commission as well. Oh fuck! Okay, okay. It's, it's hard. It's Good. hard to kill people in this game unless you get it on the critical hit table. Yeah. Otherwise, they're just considered broken. Mm. You can't like be in combat. So I, uh, I have took... a question for you. Yes, oh, sorry. Go uh, ahead. I am sh I am filled up with uh, feel no pain medication at the moment. Uh, I don't think that matters if you're yeah. broken. It, it just the, the the feel no pain was just to remove all stress level at that point. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So, um, which is great because that meant it was it was wasted because you weren't stressed anyway. You're feeling fine. Yeah, um, I'm fine. Yeah, zero. So <laughs> uh, I just checked the rules, and nothing in the in the module says that I treat you like a xenomorph. So I'm going to treat you like yeah. a normal human that is slowly becoming not a normal human. So what's going to happen is uh, she tries to level the shotgun directly into your chest. You rush forward, grab it, and with a Herculean jerk are going to bring it down um, on her upper thigh and kneecap and is going to actually snap the femur above the knee. There is a horrible wrench and Robin, you have rolled busted kneecap. You Oof. cannot run. You can only crawl. Uh, oh, shit. And this is going to drop you basically unconscious. However, as he slams it into you, you're going to manage to pull the trigger and his right arm is going to explode off of his body. And he is going to fly back into the wall and go unconscious as well. Um, he can still, like, crawl and talk, but cannot, like, act normally. Uh, you are basically going to be on the ground, broken in pain. Your gun is out of ammo. 
And uh, so, Miller, you can make two crawl actions. I'm assuming that you're going to just go... Kind of oh, do, yeah. do the drag crawl with the left arm. Only one arm. Oh, right. Thank you. Well, he'll, he'll go with the stump. like. <laughs> oh, it's got, like, the stringy flesh bits. Just... I just imagine, like, the jagged piece of bone there, and that's just, like, he has to, like, work it into, like, one of the... Oh, like, go, yeah, yeah, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, that was pushing my limit a little bit right Ooh. there. Sorry. That, that's okay, that's okay. I didn't... I didn't it's funny. That's why I, I gotta run that hammer horror one. You gotta run it, it's ridiculous. Um, we got blood fountains everywhere, it'll be blood, great. Oh, seriously, seriously. Um, all right, on the bridge, you are going to hear the distant sound of... <laughs> as a gun goes off. I only have, I don't have a shotgun now, sound, so that was a machine gun. All right, uh, what do you do, Wilson? Okay, so uh, I understand that you can negotiate to change your order in initiative. Yes. Okay, I'm going to use my manipulation roll against Clayton and point, I'm out of ammo. They have the samples. Go. And point towards the door. Make and try to. Okay, yeah, make, make like, me a manipulation th th this, roll. This is the plan. It's going to take a bit of work, and but yeah, so I'm going to have to do some rolling here. I I think so. Uh, so that is going to be versus her um, empathy, if I'm not mistaken. So negotiating position. Um, you have more people on your side, so that's a plus one dice. Uh, minus one because this is dangerous. Okay, uh, so do I get any bonuses? Uh, no, it's gonna balance no. out. Okay. Okay, uh, and then she's going to roll, I guess, counter manipulation to you. So, so I'm intrigued to know how many dice you're gonna roll because I've got my dice figured out. Okay, and that... I'm rolling fourteen dice. How do you? Have... Oh, with stress. Yeah, with the stress and my manipulation and empathy. Like, it adds up real quickly. Uh, she does not have 13 dice. She has 8, which is still pretty good since she doesn't take stress. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm pretty sure you succeeded. Uh, yes, I, and I just rolled one on my stress. Okay, sounds good. Uh, Robin, what's up? Um, I just checked my notes for the shotgun because I found. Um, so I have one full reload. So when I can, um, I can spend a slow action to reload okay. after doing the stress dice. So yeah, um, whenever, like, if that can happen on a combat turn or not. Uh, not I'm when you're broken. Be. Yeah, okay. Okay, so uh, your stress dice. Mike, go ahead. Tell me what you get. Stress, I get a oh, 12. Okay, uh, you are going to scream your lungs out for one round, losing your sl your next slow action after this. Your stress level is decreased by one, but all friendly characters who hear you scream must make an immediate panic roll. Yeah, because uh, I'm probably realizing I'm out of ammo. She's the only one that can do anything, and they have the samples, and she probably wants you know to make a profit. So, go, you can go. go! <laughs> You convinced yourself too well in trying to convince her how bad the situation was. Acting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> she is go. Okay. And, and can and can I reverse our uh, initiative order? So, so I go you, last. Uh, yes, you may. I will make a little arrow on my sheet. Okay. okay. All right. So there. So you scream at her. She uh, is going to. Fine! And is going to go and, like, boot the door open and run over. Uh, your scream is going... You're just going to start screaming after that. It's going to echo down. Uh, can you make me a panic roll, uh, Davis? Even though you're broken, I think you can still panic. I mean, uh, one would think. Now, um, I, I also I'm rolled, safe. I also rolled three for that manipulation. So normally they would ask for something in return. But I'm assuming I can use one of my stunts to basically override that mm. yeah you and can. yeah and basically um the other one probably for they're impressed by me and will try to help me later on sounds in good in some way uh so hearing that um also because you took damage davis you're gonna gain a point of stress oh great uh, <laughs> and remember dice again uh well you were you rolled the entire pool i need one die and you add your total to it that's a panic roll. 
Oh, a panic roll is you. You are panicking, yeah. not roll to panic. No, no. This is this is you. No. You are gonna panic. Oh, okay. In so space, you can hear that. Your, so include that one from the damage. Yep. And uh, wow, I rolled another only a one, so that's a nine. Okay. I'm at eight stress right uh, now. You're gonna drop your gun. Great. Um, your stress level increases by one. All right. I need more die. So this is great. Uh, so you're going to just like hear that scream and see Miller crawling toward you, uh, his head beginning to elongate sickeningly as the bones break. Uh, and you're just going to, your, your gun's empty. You're going to click it a couple times and just start like crawling as fast as you can because you need both arms. Yep. Okay. Uh, oh boy. Uh, I, I really wish I didn't give you that nap pro leave, James. Right? I would like to have my I nice so stress gone. I so appreciate that you did. Uh, Clayton is going to run out, see this scene, and... Oh, can I still speak? Yeah. But badly. Davis! Davis! Ah! I think think Davis is just screaming her head bloody off right now. Okay. Um, uh, James, do me a favor. Roll me two... Two dice of damage, or I mean, roll me, roll me two d six, and tell me the total as a percentile. Sixty six. Perfect. All right, you're screaming. He's gonna come up behind you and just he's he uh, Robin as Davis is crawling away. You're going to feel his his sharp nails raking along the boots of your suit, tearing ah! through. And then Day, um, Clayton is going to enter the room, look at this, fail her empathy roll, and perform a coup de gras on him. <laughs> oh Perfect. my god, amazing. The, you cannot do a coup de gras unless you fail an empathy roll. I had five dice and I got no successes. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I love it. She's heartless, but she's got five dice of empathy because she's good at knowing people. Uh, so, coup de gras. Uh, coup de gras um, is defenseless. If you're a human, you want to kill your target, you must fail an MP3 roll. She'll increase her stress by one. Uh, and then you rolled a 66, which I believe yep. is insta death. It's impaled heart. It's impaled heart. Okay, so, uh, yep. Uh, she is going to aim and just fire a shot through, like, your center mass. <laughs> He'll just, like, slump onto, slump onto Davis. What the fuck? Oh, help. I need a first aid. My knee. Fuck. Wilson! She's going to yell. <laughs> All right, uh, Wilson, you are being screamed at. What do you do? Um, do I know that the uh, the armory is nearby? Uh, yeah, you probably saw when you were looking through Mother that there was a number of things nearby. That is where I'm headed towards. Okay, so instead you rush over there. Uh, and one moment, please. All right. Um, you'll manage to open the door. It's just around the corner on B deck, basically opposite of where the mess hall is on, on the other side of, on the other flank of the ship. As you open the door, you'll see that it's stripped almost bare. There's a single rifle inside. It's a Wayland Storm rifle. It is a heavy M41A pulse rifle. Uh, if you do not have the stats for that present, let me give them to you real quick. Uh, an M4A pulse rifle is a plus one bonus to hit. Uh, it has two damage. However, it also has armor piercing and full auto. It also has the heavy condition. So, and what that means is that... Heavy? There we go. Uh, okay, so heavy indicates how many weapons it counts as the inventory. Um, so basically, this is going to take all of your inventory that isn't, like, pocket size, so you won't be able to carry any gun except for this. 
That's okay. Uh, I'm, I'm dropping what I'm holding anyways. Armor piercing means that armor is halved, and full auto means you have access to the full auto feature under range damage. Uh, this is basically a machine gun. No, no it, is, it is a machine gun. What am I kidding? Okay, so running in there. So besides that, you'll see that the wall is coated with milky white spray that's long since dried. Grabbing that, do you rush back to the scene? Yes. All right. As you rush back back into the room, you can see that Clayton has started to like reach her arms underneath um, underneath Davis's arms and is starting to drag her. I need some help over here. Your pilot's I, broken. I think I think David or I think Miller might have had a med pack on him. Jack, I need my I'm gonna bleed out. Fuck. Watch, I'm not gonna bleed out. Just fucking bust my kneecap. Oh fuck. fuck. Clayton is going to look up at you, Wilson. Keep an eye on the corridor, make sure nobody else gets in here. Dump. You don't have to tell me twice. Run towards the door. She goes and checks uh, checks um, Miller's body over. Miller, did you have a med pack on you? Uh, I don't believe I did. Let's double check. I, know I don't think I did. I think I just had the uh, syringe stuff. pack, like the vaccine I mean, pack. And that sounds good. It. She's going to go and grab like that. that. Walk over to where Davis is. You're breathing the air inside of here now. That's dangerous. Let's hope this works in time. And she's going to jam one of the inoculation needles into the side of your neck, Davis. Oh! What the fuck is that? Hopefully it'll prevent you from turning like him. Oh, fuck. Let's get you into the med bay. Don't worry, I can walk. Fuck. Then I'll drag Hold on. Her. I've got an idea. And I will turn around and I will start unloading the gun into Clayton. Okay. Uh, Clayton will try to defend herself, but uh, as you do that, can you do me a favor? Um, shit. Okay. So, full auto fire. Are you going to auto? You said full auto? Oh, God, yes. Okay. Uh, Arounding the corner. You're going to hear. As you load, uh, unload shell after shell into Clayton. Uh, all right. So, um, your stress level is going to go up by one. This is going to add to the roll for the full auto. Uh, you get a plus two modifier on your roll. Um, you can also, you can also attack multiple people with that, but unless you want to kill no. Davis as well. No, I just want to cut Clayton in half. Okay, uh, that is probably what's going to happen. She has no defense against this because you are going to be at short range, not not close range. And uh, I, I think that she is going to be hooped unless she has a chance to shoot back. I'm just going to check right now. Cover. Um, okay, so do you guys think that counts as a... It's not really a surprise attack, is it? Uh, I don't think anyone saw this coming. I th I feel like that was fairly surprising. Like just the turn yeah. around. Okay, I'm shooting you now with a no warning. Mm. Are you even you? That went, does Whoa. feel surprising. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna say you can do it, but you got to spend a story point to make it happen. So okay. one of your yeah, because that I'll, yeah, I'll let you I'll, I'll let you bribe me. No problem. And okay. does that count as an automatic success though? Uh, it doesn't count as an automatic. We got to see how because okay. she could survive if you miss. Okay. Um. I don't think she has a way of getting out of this, though. So let's see. Uh, range, aiming, target size. Uh, nope, she's straight I'm, target size. Resolution. I'm rolling 14 dice again. Oh. Okay. I'm going to check her health, which I think is is got to be at least 15, right? <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Yikes. I think I think Davis might get a point of stress from seeing this all of a sudden. 
Maybe. Uh, I'll give you a point of stress for this because this is pretty stressful. Uh, I'm also going to just double check one final thing about doing this. A broken okay. character's defenseless. Okay, so this is... Okay, what'd you get? Yes. I got five. Five? Okay, and you're going to put those into damage? Oh god, yes. Okay, she has a health of two, so I'm going to say she has no way of blocking that. Let's roll for dam. Oh, damn. Okay, I rolled 65 pierced head. <laughs> on her critical injury. Yikes! Uh, so you are just going to turn and say, what, what's your what's your one-liner? Let's hear it. Oh, I've got an idea. Corporate takeover. And then uh, empty the clip into her upper torso and head. Okay, yeah, it is going to mist spraying on the back wall uh, and just... There is nothing, nothing that can be done. What? 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 Wilson, what the fuck? Congratulations, Davis. We're leaving. And now we're going to cut downstairs uh, where, uh, let's see. So you are going to take over as Flynn, James? Yeah, that's right. So Flynn, you are working on on Cham. You're going to be able to get their head vertical, and that's about it. Uh, not much else you can do. Um, not much else you can do to help there. Um, as that happens, though, you're down there uh, and leaning over, uh, leaning over into the Ava unit which just sounds different if you're an anime nerd. Um, all right, so leaning over Ava, you're going to manage to click it back home, Rai, and uh, bring her back online. She'll blink. Her eyes begin to focus again. Oh. Hello. I am Ava Six. Pleasure to meet you. Hi, Ava. I'm Rye. Have we landed? Not yet. Um, can you give me a report um, on the events since the crew went into cryo? Since the crew went into cryo. I'm... Yes. Are you... One of the new crew of the Cronus? Um... Yes. Um... Uh... I'm here with, um... Uh... Dr. Flynn and with Reed. Colonel Reed? Lieutenant? Lieutenant Reed? Can't remember uh, just, just, uh, just... Reed. Marine. 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 And, and Marine Reed, I'll ah, gesture yes. to them. <laughs> it's wonderful to see you alive. Uh, and there is no rank that I'm seeing for Reed. Okay, fair. Security officer, you could say probably say lieutenant. Yeah. Wonderful no, to see officer you. Officer Reed. Yeah. Wonderful to see you alive. Yes, there were problems before. I'm happy to help you anyway that I can. As you know, the ship touched down on the archaeological dig. Spores and other things from the area were brought back. The inoculations. The inoculations are flawed. They contain traces of the original strain, labeled as Draconis. The Draconis strain has a 5% chance of developing into a full-blown infection if it does not suit its host. The inoculation is only 95% effective based on current numbers, although that number could be much lower or higher. 
across a broad sample size. Like, is that maybe what happened to... Well, no, Cooper didn't take it, right? Cooper did not take the vaccine? Who, did the rest of the crew? Yes. The vaccine is flawed, but 95% is still better than 0%. True. What what happened? You were awake while the rest of the crew was in cryo, right? Yes. The creatures on board do not notice me as well. I must have gone across an angry one. Right. Um, okay. Do you have any way of... of of sensing them? Do you have motion detector input? No. I, my sensors are equivalent to yours, my eyes. Right, ocular sensors, of course. Um, uh, different models. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna look up to uh, Flynn and Reed. Different um, models. Do you have a David with you? Uh, no, we have a Lucas. I think they're a much more modern model, maybe created since you guys left. It's been a long time How that long? you've been offline. It, it, out of character, it's been 75 years, right? 75 ish years, yeah. Okay. It's been about three quarters of a century. Interesting. It's kind of like time travel. You, you jump forward ahead a whole bunch. Just, Humans are always capable of time travel. Just one just, direction. It's the long way around. Flynn. Is... Are you aware of Agent AO3959X 9115? Flynn, you are not uh, necessarily <laughs> sure of this. Uh, you know that some of the samples that were brought back from the site uh, were used by you to make the inoculation. You know this inoculation isn't 100% effective, but if you don't take it and are exposed to the spores in the air, um, it you're, you're screwed uh, <laughs> in eventual time, which is why inoculation is smart. Uh, yeah, we... I mean, like... I don't know all the specifics. I was just a junior researcher, but um, but but yeah, no, we we have to take the inoculation. If we if we don't, like, the airborne particles are are, are highly virulent. Of course. Um, it is in my best interests and in the interests of my programming to make sure that you're all aware of this. For my interest to all place human life on above corporate profit. It is important for you all to know that Agent AO3959X, the samples that were taken from the site, the artifacts that Officer Clayton is interested in procuring and returning to Earth, are not biological samples. They're weapons. Biological weapons. Uh... We are in Act 3 now. Right. Um, thank you for that information, Ava. Um, we sh should really get to... get to the reactors. We need to get the ship moving. What, what about the escape pods? Could, could we just, like... like, just, like, scuttle the ship and just, like... Try to make a run with it. Like, are there any escape pods? There are no escape pods. Uh, there aren't any. Let me just roll one thing for Ava to know. One real quick, one sec. <laughs> uh, she failed, so she actually doesn't know about something. Ooh, we boosted one, didn't we? We like sent it off. You have a shuttle. You have a. You have that one shuttle. Oh, we have the Daisy. We have the Daisy that's right behind you. Okay, so there's one. Technically. But it doesn't have... I think Lucas probably thinks it doesn't have long-range capability, so you'd just be floating in space at this point. 
waiting to yeah. hopefully be rescued and there's no cryo on it probably oh. is what i'm guessing yeah yeah well, with how many have the crew is minimized extensively i don't think any of us should allow biological weapons that could affect all of humanity to return that's against my core programming Agreed. I think you would agree. Yes. Looking uh, at people, people like Flynn and Rye and whatnot. Do you know where they kept it? Could you remove it? I can focus on trying to get us alive and moving. Uh, that sounds good. We need, the the reactor needs to be online. Hmm. If you have the power, you should be better prepared against these things. And if you destroy the source material, we should be able to get you home as well. So, um, let's get the reactor going. I think that's the best way to go. Yeah? Um, uh, Reed, are you okay taking point? Yeah, I got this. Stairs or elevator? Um, I think I have the elevator under control. No, we only have to go up one floor. Yeah. We'll take the elevator, unless anyone is vastly against it. Okay. Um, so... Uh, one moment, please. Checking this real quick. See next page. Done. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, you're still wearing your suit, right, Davis? Your space suit? I mean, it was destroyed and imp impaled. Okay, so, uh, and where do you have, so, uh, there are, so inside of Medbay, this is just so that I know, uh, on the desk there is an open metallic urn. Four organic-looking glass vials are inside the urn, three of which were intact, one of which is cracked and empty. There was also a medkit case that contained six syringes beneath the desk. So I believe that what happened is, uh, which one did each of you take? Because I don't remember from the first game. Um, I took the the syringes, the, the like the cracked, the one in the weird urn. I took those. Okay, you took the vials, and then and then Miller and took Miller took the um, uh, the syringes and the med kit. Then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I guess so. I thought I didn't have a med kit. I thought I just got the syringes. But well, they're okay. they're in a medkit case, par is what it says. Oh, okay. Sorry. So basically, they're I'm gonna say they're in like a bandolier. So, uh, so Flynn, you are definitely gonna have stress. I tell you what, roll me a d6, re-roll ones. You have that many stress starting. Uh, four. That sounds about right. Okay, so that's a good start. All right, so once again, um. So some of you are going to need to head up. So who is going to get the reactor? Who is going to the science or med lab? I was going to go to the reactor. Okay. Same. I figure I it's med. slightly less dangerous for an android. Okay. All right. So, uh, and then Reed is going to accompany Flynn and uh, and Ava up. Okay. To the to medical. Okay, so uh, I'm going to follow you down to the reactor because you two haven't had as much time in a while and I think it feels feels good to do so. So, cutting away, you're going to make it toward the reactor, which is located down on, uh, which is located up, pardon me, on deck C. Taking the stairs up, you are, I guess this is going to be taking the, the ladder, the ladder's up? Is gonna be a I think it's technique. Yeah, I guess it's a ladder up and then it's a ladder, it's a ladder to the catwalk is what it is. So gotcha. you take you take the ladders up to the catwalk and yeah. make your way down 
uh, splitting up there. Reed takes Ava and says, you stay, stay safe. Yeah. Flynn, watch my back, please. Uh, Here, take this, and yeah. he'll, or she'll hand you the motion tracker. Uh, okay. What, what am I supposed to do with this? Track I mean, motion. So I should just yell if something's coming? Maybe quietly. Okay. Kill it. Flynn will, like, clutch that thing like it's the only thing left on Earth. <laughs> and it might be before long. All right. The other two of you head down into the reactor. Heading over to the reactor control relay. And let's go down there. As you move toward the reactor bay, the only lighting here comes from an open access port to the reactor relay. It glows a dull, pale blue. Casting long and deep shadows. Inside of here, something tore up the furniture. And loose equipment. And now, there's a bizarre nest here. In a pile of debris near the reactor itself is a piled up spacesuit. Its helmet filthy, almost completely fogged over. The tattered suit looks like it was set on fire at one point. The reactor is an absolute mess. There's some type of yellowish white resin covering most of the reaction chamber. A quick glance at that you have enough stats to know that that's not going to function unless that's removed. And then you'll have to be, make some repairs on the outside of the ship. Damn it. Um. What do you all do? What do you both do? If you're We're no going to have to do outside repairs. You'll need either the Ava unit or a suit. Yeah. We're not that far separate. Do you want to see if you can catch up with them? I can continue working here. Yeah. Um, quick question. Yeah. Where... There is a suit place. Yep. Yeah, you can probably find some suits okay. inside of here. Sucks. Oh, in here? Like, inside of the ship is what I mean. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Because they're, like, way up at the front of the ship. Um, Because that's where the, the yeah. EVA yeah. suits... Yeah, you'll be able to find okay. some more. Okay. Um, they seem to be attracted by noise and movement. If you go slow and are quiet, you might be able to make it up there. Yeah, I wonder if, though, if they are some kind of, I don't know, life force sensing or heat sensing, because they didn't seem to pick up Ava, but they definitely pick up us. Um, well... The last attack was after we banged and clanged, opening the elevator. True. So I think noise attracts them. Okay. Um, because they didn't notice us when we were working on the scrubbers, and we were fairly quiet then. Right. We just dealt with the job and didn't make extra noise. Right. It's mm -hmm. only been when there's been yelling or large amounts of movement. Yeah. So far. There's a vent in this room, isn't there? There is. Uh, as you're inside of here, though, um, you are going to... Well, you're going you're to know it as soon as you head in that there is a slight reactor leak as well. Like, this right. thing is damaged, the way this is tore up. Uh, and as you enter the room, let me just double check something. <laughs> uh, radiation, radiation leaks. Let's find out how that works. One ten. All right. Um, okay. When you're exposed to radiation, you gain radiation points or rads to accumulate in your body. Uh, check off the rad boxes on your character sheet. Um, 
And each time you gain a radiation point, you must roll a number of die equal to your current number of accumulated rads. For each uh, six you roll, you take a point of damage. You heal one rad per shift. Uh, so as you enter, um, I would like uh, Krista, if you, you've you entered the room and looked around, roll one yep. die. Tell me if you get a six. Okay. Uh, nope, three. Three? Okay, so uh, the way that this works is that uh, that's one per one per shift. Okay, so that's not terrible. That means that you'll you've been exposed to one rad uh, that will last unless you are in something faster in this room. It's one per like eight hours. So just mark down you have one okay. rad. You're you're slightly okay. rad. We already knew this. Okay. I think Lucas is also going to like express that point. Look, sure. the reactor is damaged. Radiation affects you worse. It'll eventually degrade my components. Well, maybe that's the thing we need to fix first then. But it's probably better if I do it. Uh, Get yourself a, a suit. You need it. Mine's damaged, or I'd give it to you. Okay. Um, yeah, alright, I'll go find the suits. Um, we don't have time to go together if you want to start working on this, if you're in any condition to do so. I can, I'll have to be slow, but I can do it. Okay. Okay, and you head off, right? Yeah. Okay, shutting the door behind you, Cham, Lucas whatever your name is, you start going around and doing some cleaning. And start assessing of what I need to do. Sounds what, great. What I already told you, so. Okay, taking a look at that, uh, you are going to see the scenario around you, how messed up the room is. And uh, as you do, could you do me a favor and make me an observation roll? Sure. Um, okay, observation, what does that go with generally? Wits. Wits, sweet. Three sixes. <laughs> Three sixes, okay. Pardon one second. sixes okay yeah. uh, you will not get a surprise round as the spacesuit slowly uncrumples its bent arms and stands up revealing that the suit's helmet is not in fact a helmet but the elongated rounded skull of one of these abominations and I'm gonna draw for <laughs> combat oh no <laughs> alright Christine you're starting off you have an 8 I'm starting off with a 5 and a three. Okay. So I have two initiative phases on you. Well, shit. <laughs> uh, it is going to turn and let out a and is going to lunge at you. Uh, this is a close combat attack. Uh, you, oh, because you're next, you can't do fast, fast actions, so you can't dodge. Um, I'm pretty wrecked. I'm pretty sure like one of my arms is non-functional okay, as well. Okay, so hold on. I have to roll to see what its signature attack is. Uh, that is going to be a five arm pull. Uh, it lunges forward, grabs your arm, and tries to pull it clean off with your bare hands. Uh, roll for the attack. And I need you... Okay, so damage one if the attack causes damage. Uh, it's going to lunge forward, grab onto you by the elbow, and and it's going to rip your arm out of its socket, a uh, off off of your body. A spray of white blood is going to hit the wall, and it is going to make another attack at you, and it is going to like, throw your arm against the wall where it clatters into the reactor, uh, and it is going to come at you attempting for a head crush with its second attack. Uh... 
and it is going to miss. You are going to duck under it as it brings its hands around your skull. But uh, you, your head, I, I'm going to just narrate this. Like the, the stick that's holding your head up is going to snap from the force of the arm pull. And your head is going to loll over to your shoulder, making it dodge at the last <laughs> second. It is your action. What do you do? Um, is there... There's tons of stuff in this room. There is even... Um, well, is there anything to do to set off what I wanted to do? All right. Let me just check that right there. Uh, because I will ignore it to do that. It is located in this room once activated with a Comtech roll and a turn of work. You can do that. You have to make a Comtech roll. Okay. I will. Okay. So, launching forward, make me a Comtech roll. I'm going to say you don't suffer stress. Is that wits? Uh, that's Wits and Comtech. Okay. And you can spend your story points on this. Oh, I have a story point, yes. Yep, Okay. you can spend it sure. for an automatic success. Because you're an android, I'm not going to give you any penalties on this. Oh, I rolled max three sixes. <laughs> okay. So, turning on your... I need you to, like, picture, like, Michael Fassbender in Prometheus and that way that he just doesn't emote except for, like, quizzical weirdo. So my head's, like, upside down, practically. I'm doing this very disadvantaged, but I just turn my back on this thing and do you it. You just recalibrate do. inside of your skull, though, right? You're like... Oh, yeah. And you're just kind of... With one just arm... Re-accept the <laughs> way my sensors are... All right. Click, 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 click. And all of you are going to hear... as the alarm begins to blare uh, and it's going to take its next turn at you that is going to be a four uh, it is going to pounce it's going to leap it, the abomination leaps onto its victim like a giant monkey would alright that's eight dice one of which blew off into the aether and is now on the floor Okay, that's one success. Uh, if the attack hits, the victim is knocked to the ground, drops any handheld items, and must make an immediate panic roll. Immune. The abomination starts pounding the victim with powerful fists, in uh, which resolved an immediate bonus attack with 12 dice of damage. <laughs> uh, with 12, 12 base dice. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, you are incredibly lucky that it, this barely hit you. Uh, that is going to deal three points of damage to you. Okay. Okay. Uh, are you broken? You still have health left? Um. I'm trying to remember how that works. Okay. Um. So I have eight health. I got broken once already. Yeah. But it. So that was one thing I. Yeah, so I've had those two those broken conditions happen. That's yeah, that was a uh, that was conditional. So have you had? A, are you out of? Are you at zero health? Yeah, but I've had that happen before, and it's different for androids. You just roll on the table. Oh, that's fair. All right, so so uh, I've had. That was why one arm was broken, and then my head fair. got broken. Okay, so um, let's go to the the synth chart. So and until you actually rip me apart, I'm working on it. <laughs> I can okay. still do shit. Okay, androids, androids. Uh, page yeah, I'm one. pretty sure how I remember it was, yeah, Christine just, just doesn't die until they just keep. Okay, just so roll. Broken. Oh, give me a d6, Christine. Okay. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll roll a, I'll roll okay. a d6. Sounds good. Uh, so, um, so it is going to land on your back, smashing you to the ground. Your internal organs are going to splay out of you like an overripe tomato. Your your synthetic guts are wrapping around the floor like a like a swarm of snakes, and uh, it is going to just reach up and screech and slam its fist down at you, uh, and is going to do a full system shutdown. I actually rolled a six on that one, uh, and is going to crush your head into the ground. Your eyes and face are going to just grotesquely morph onto the ground as they splay out. Um, all right, and with that, you are going to hear that the self-destruct sequence for the ship has been initiated. Uh, and uh, I guess uh, you are going to be Reed now. 
Or you can be Reed or you can be Ava. Um. Might Probably. as well be Reed. Try yeah, out. Uh, have stress dice. Uh, yeah, try out having stress dice. Okay. Uh, I am going to roll me a d6. Reroll if it's a one. Uh, five. Okay. You'll have five stress at the start of this. Uh, everyone at this point take an additional point of stress for hearing that the reactor is going to melt down. Okay. So. Uh, same. Same. Yeah. Okay. Reed is not having this. Uh, her character sheet is in the chat. If you need me to resend it, let me know. How far away from this did I get? Uh, from that, uh, I'm going to say that you made it uh, up the stairwell to uh, deck B, where everybody else is headed. Okay. So, so you are going to be making it uh, right into the science sector above the okay. reactor core. Uh and that means that you're all basically going to be together. These doors in the central hallway are open, uh, and you are going to see... Wilson, are you helping Davis make it to the med pods? Yeah, I'm... Did uh, Miller still have the incinerator on him, or did he pass that on to someone else? No, he dropped it on the ground. Up, like, yeah, right here? I slung to him. It's, he, okay. just, he just forgot about it. Yeah. Perfect. I am now going to switch my weapon to that. Okay. So I've got the incinerator, and then I'm going to go grab all of the samples of everything. Okay. And then uh, look down at Davis on the ground and go, so what do I do with you now? Get me to a med lab or something. We can try and splint my knees so I can put any sort of pressure on it. I'm no good on the ground. Yeah, that sounds like a liability. I need solutions, not problems. You could see that she has the samples on her. Yeah, no, I'm like holding the incinerator and I'm about to go and take the samples from her. Okay, just making sure you knew that you could see that. Yeah, yeah. This, this is a negotiation moment here. I'll fucking so, drop these and break these. You, f you, f you fire that, you're gonna blow me up as well, and you're gonna take those samples with you. You think I'm doing this for the samples? I told you before we even got on this ship, I'm gonna get us all home, and I'm gonna make sure we all get paid. I don't know why you think I'm the bad corpo here, I just took care of them. You're f Aiming a flamethrower at my face, Wilson. I would trust you a little bit more if that was pointed a little more south range. Tell you what, I'll trade you for the samples. Yeah, I guess I could fucking lean on it like a crutch. Well then, let's get the fuck out of here. And I'll reach down and grab Davis by the collar and start lifting her up. Okay. Uh, you'll so you you'll take the samples from her and help her out. Yep. Okay, sounds good. Um, meanwhile, as uh, as you're doing that, uh, I'm gonna say that in the ensuing time, you probably had enough time to get her over toward the science lab, which is where the med lab is kind of off the side of. Um, yep. Flynn and Ava are going to make it up into the science sector. Uh, and right behind, you are going to hear the sound of the alarm going off. Uh, as you are just about to reach the top of the stairs there, Rye. As soon as that alarm goes off, I'm running to the reactor. Regardless of where anybody is or where who's with me, I'm leaving. Like, I'm out. Shit, 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 shit. And go right back down and head towards the reactor. Okay. Uh, as you head down toward the reactor, the door is going to hiss open in front of you. And you are going to see Lucas, Cham, your friend, collapse out the door in a heap of destroyed synthetic meat. And then a creature in a spacesuit is going to amble out of the door at you. And let's draw some initiative. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So, first one's you. Oh, a nine. Is that good? I'll let you spend a story point to redraw. Oh. 
I really wanted to hold on to that story point to fix the reactor, but if I'm not alive to fix the reactor, then it doesn't matter. It's true. Uh, yeah, I'll use the story okay, point. Okay, you're now a two. I am a one and a nine, so at least I get I get one attack on you, but not two. That was about to be awful. Okay. Oof. All right, so the alarm is going to keep blaring in the background, but I'm going to turn that down because that gets really annoying. Mm -hmm. um, and the creature is going to stumble out and let out a mindless roar at you and will... Oh, ooh, you're lucky. You're actually pretty lucky. <laughs> uh, it is going to let out a horrible roar as it screams in fury. I need you to make me a panic roll. Oh, God. That is the best thing it could have rolled for you. A four. So you rolled a one die and... Oh, plus my stress is ten. Ten? Okay, you're going to freeze for one round, losing your next slow action, not your fast action. Your okay. stress level and the stress level of all friendly PCs increases by one. Uh, so it is going to freeze you in your tracks. You'll lose your slow action, which means your shooty action. However, okay. you can just you can choose to just run. I That was what I was going to do anyway. <laughs> okay, so running away from a combat has special rules. Grappling retreat. If you are in engaged range, you must make a mobility roll to move away to short range from them. I'll say that you were at short range when the door opened, so you will not have okay. to do this. You can just run. Okay. All right. Uh, so chasing, though, is something that's going to be interesting. <laughs> uh, let's look up chasing rules. Because it is going to roar and is going to try to follow you. Uh, chasing... Uh, sp I guess it would be under speed. Slow actions, sneak, short range. I'll be under short range. 83. Movement, running. To move during combat, you can spend a fast action to run from one zone to another, from short to engaged, and so on. Um, no roll is required to run unless it's into a cluttered zone. It is not. Um, and you can open, unlock doors or hatches with a fast action. Uh, a locked door or hatch may be uh, broken down. Okay, so it is going to just... You're going to run, and it is going to run after you. Um, uh, so, where are you headed? I'm going to head into the junction and try to get back into the vehicle bay. Okay, so um, you can do so just by jumping down the ladder. Cool, okay. Uh, so... Back. If you're going to do that, what I want you to do is this is going to be just kind of dangerous since you're jumping down a ladder, sure. uh, which is not <laughs> great. Uh, so go ahead and make me an agility roll. Let's say agility and... Ooh, what could be good here? Uh... I have mobility. I was going to say mobility. Yeah, this is going to be a mobility roll. Cool. So make me a mobility roll. Bad. If you succeed this, I'll say that you don't... Uh, suffer damage on the way down. Oh, that's a lot of ones. That they don't uh, subtract. They don't subtract dice. No, but they're all on stress. Oh god. Um, I got one success. Okay. Uh, and so then three ones. Three ones. Okay, so here's a question. Are you jumping down the junction or are you going to jump off the catwalk? So I don't think the junction ladder goes into the vehicle deck. So you're going to so have to jump off the catwalk. I think it's going to be off the catwalk. Okay, so jumping off the catwalk, you are going to manage to bound off the top of where the daisy is parked. Okay, that's uh, kind of where I was going for. And you're going to parkour to the ground, hitting the ground rolling away from this. However, uh, your stress is going to go wild at this point. Make me a stress roll. Or a panic uh, roll, I mean? Uh, 10. 10? You keep freezing. <laughs> uh, your, pan your, your stress is going to go up by another one. Another one. I'm going to have to get more stress dice. You hit the ground, roll, and look up at this creature. He is going to take his action to... Whoa, oh, sorry. I lied. I had one extra stress dice than I thought. It's I was, 11. I was wondering. Okay. My, my Well, I only rolled a four. But That's I, okay. Yeah. Okay, so instead of that, that is going to be up to the stress. Panic roll, 11. Uh, you're going to use your next action to move away from danger and find a safe spot. You're allowed to make a retreat roll if you are engaged. Uh, your stress level is decreased by one now, Ooh. but your next round you have to try to hide. 
Uh, so it is going to rush out to the catwalk, uh, and I'm going to say you can make a stealth roll versus it as it's going to jump down. Uh, that would just be agility if I don't have stealth, right? That is correct, but you, you add your stress. Okay, but I get my stress dice. And okay. you can always push. Right. Um, sorry, my mic made a weird noise here. Um, Okie dokie. That's one, one on the stress dice, uh, but no successes. Okay, do you want to push it? Uh, yes. And that is that reroll everything? That rerolls everything that did not succeed. So in this case, yes. Okay, everything. And including my stress dice. Including do I keep your stress the dice. one from my you, stress you, dice? You still panic, yeah. Okay. And I believe you gain a stress when you push, you right? gain a You gain a stress on this roll as well. So right. you're going to need more I dice. I will have to go grab more dice. Well, I, I, I lost that one from my 11 roll, so I that's had fair. to add back. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's a little better. Uh, one, two, uh, two successes and no stress. Two successes and no stress. All right, so make me uh, make me that panic roll anyway from that yep. first one. That's gonna be. Uh, that's gonna be uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. Um. All right. So this is what is going to happen. This is gonna be fucking epic. The creature, like, you're going to kind of, like, crawl under the daisy's landing pad, and mm -hmm. just kind of, like, hide underneath its gears, looking at it, like, keeping an eye. <sighs> and above you, there is going to be this horrible, horrible noise. And then suddenly... As on top of the daisy, this creature jumps down onto it, looking around for you. It hops to the ground and begins searching for you. And as you hide, you catch your breath. You are going to see this creature, this fucking monster between you and survival. And you're going to go berserk. You must immediately attack the nearest person or creature, friendly or not. You will not stop until the target is broken. Every friendly creature who mu witnesses must make an immediate panic roll. Um, you are hidden, and I'm going to see if it observed you. If it did not, you get a sneak attack. Oh, my God. So, oh, it's observation. You got three successes? Yes. It had two. You may you may do me a favor and make me a sneak attack on it. What weapons do you have? Oh a wrench. Okay, that that wrench is perfect. This is this is how I this is how your character had to go out if it's gonna go out. It's true. Okay, that's gonna be strength, and then what's a wrench? So yeah. a wrench. I'll say it's a plus. Is it, how big of a wrench is it? Be honest. Is it like a big big wrench? I was imagining something that she was gonna be working on the reactor. I'll give with, you. I'll so. give you. A, let me let me just check handheld weapons. Uh, whoop. Handheld weapons and equipment. Boop, boop, boop. Computer mainframe, vision devices. Just give me a wrench, guys. It's not hard. Guns, rifles, lots of rifles, dirty bullets. <laughs> um, a stun. I'll, I'll, I'll say it's equivalent to a stun baton. Oh, well, they don't. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Uh, a stun baton plus one and one damage. Okay, so plus one. Got it. Oh, so it's it's a blunt instrument. They actually just have blunt instrument. That's, that's oh, perfect. That is the most useful thing I have ever seen in a game. Uh, all right, so what you are going to do is uh, make me an attack roll. This is close combat, uh, and it is close combat versus somebody who is surprised. So that is going to be close combat surprise attack. Um, okay. I, can I push again? You can push attack rolls, yeah. Uh, your okay. mobility... Uh, you get a free action, slower, fast, but not both, before you draw initiative. Technically, we're going to draw a new initiative now. Oh, sorry. So that's... I'm just going to keep rolling, because I presume I'll be... You know what? I'm going to keep the same initiative, because that way you, you get to act... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna redraw initiative. Well, because my my berserk would be regardless, right? Because I have to do it immediately. You have to do it, but this is but it does not see you. Uh, yeah. So you actually have initiative as well. So you're gonna get two swings before it gets to act. Cool. Um, I rolled a bunch of ones, but I'm gonna use my ability the long haul, which mm. means I can ignore all failures. Okay. 
Uh, so I'm going to ignore those, and I have four six, four sixes, so four successes. Nice. And that means, um, oh wait, I sorry, I have one more stress dice. Not that it really matters, but it might get me a six. It does not. Um, so yeah, four successes plus the one from the damage. Do you want to push to reroll all of the failed dice? I already did. Okay. <laughs> all right, that sounds good. So four on your first attack, uh, rushing forward. You are going to get a free action, uh, and. Uh, you know what? Give me, uh, give me two more dice, a regular dice for the ambush. Okay. One more six. That's five successes and five successes. one damage. Okay, so uh, he is not going to be able to try to defend himself on this. So you are going to manage to hop out of cover and make an attack. Um, how are you spending your close combat points? Um, this thing's jaw is what tried to take out my throat. So this so. is not one of the bloodburster things. This is not a xenomorph. This is a human that's been warped horribly. But it's got it has a mouth though, right? It has a normal human mouth, yeah. I'm going for the jaw. Okay. Sounds just, good. Just baseball swinging it. <laughs> so in the book, what you can do is you can spend extra damage to uh, so you'll do your base damage. So mm -hmm. the first success will be uh, will be two points of damage, if I'm not mistaken. One for you inflict, pardon me. So first attack will be one for your damage rating, and then you can spend the other four successes on more damage, or you can spend stunts, knocking them down, um, uh, which will give you a bonus on your next attack. Um, you can try to put them in a grapple, um, or inflict more damage. Um, I think I'm just going to go for as much damage. Okay. Well, I've got four, right? Should I, yeah. Maybe I'll do three additional damage. And one knockdown? And one to knock them down. Okay, so sounds so I get one damage for the success, first success, and then I get a damage for it being a wrench, or is that? That's the base success for that. That's the base success. Okay, got it, got it, got it. So four damage. Okay, plus it's one it did down. not succeed on its armor at all, um, and you are going to crank it to the ground, dealing four points of damage to it. Oh, beautiful! Uh, knocking it to the ground with a horrible whoom whoom, as you just start like losing your fucking mind on top of it. Uh, and it is prone now. Uh, we are now back in initiative phases, and it is prone. So you do not. So add your normal dice pool together. So a close combat attack is strength plus close combat, plus all of your stress. And on top of that, it is prone. So what that means is you are going to add an additional. I believe it's plus two. Okay. So with my regular dice. That's one success, two successes. Okay. On regular dice, and then my stress. Now, since I haven't rolled the same type of dice, I'm just gonna roll my stress separately. But my stress is one, uh, two successes. So okay. that's four successes total, and then one stress. Okay. Do you? Would you like to push? Uh. These things are tough. Sure. I need, I'm berserking, so of course. You're berserking. Okay. okay. So take so, another point of stress, add it to your pool, and reroll any failed dice. You're at four already. Okay. Uh, oh, goodness. Uh, one, two, three, four sixes. Oh. Four. So that's uh, eight successes. Eight successes. That is fantastic. Are you just going to pump it all into damage? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm going to roll <laughs> She's for... Just this thing Rolling for his arm. Oh my god, his armor is not good. Uh, eight, eight damage. Okay, uh, I am going to roll. This is the ten. This is percentiles. Cool. Uh, you are just going to start wailing on this thing like a howler monkey with a bone. This is very 2001 A Space Odyssey as you are mm -hmm. just tearing into this monster on the ground, uh, slamming into it again and again and again. And let's see how much damage it takes. There we go. And uh, make me a panic roll, because you did roll a one. All right. Uh, that's going to be... Hang on, how much stress do I have? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, plus 5 is 17. 17? Okay. Uh, oh, God. Uh, 17... Uh, 17... You know what? You're already berserk. I'm gonna say that you will not you will not panic until after the end of the berserking. 
Okay, so until this thing is dead. Until when this thing is dead, you're going to go catatonic. Is what is the what you rolled? Spectacular. Or you'll have a heart attack. One of the two. Um, however, you are going to hit this thing so many times uh, that you are going to tear its arm clean off, like just ripping through it entirely. Um, and can it act when it's already that hurt? I don't think it can. can can't it act until it's broken? It You broke it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it had six dice of armor, and I didn't get a single success on either hit. Uh, so, yeah, you are going to... to uh, absolutely just batter this thing into the ground. Um, and I'm just double checking because Xenomorphs work completely differently. When a Xenomorph is... Okay, uh, that's Xenomorphs. Yeah, I mean, that's the way it be. Um, <laughs> I don't think these guys function any differently. Um... go. Adult, no, those are neomorphs. Okay. Infected. Infected attacks. Yep. They just act like normal creatures from the looks of it. Um, so when you are going to beat this thing into the ground, uh, gutturally screaming, and as you finish slamming your wrench into it again and again and again and again and again and again and again, uh, <laughs> It is going to go limp and dead on the ground, and you and are just—you're just, so <laughs> just going to fall. And as the camera pans past you, you're just going to go catatonic, staring at this thing, except for one of your hands, which is going to just kind of reflexively like wipe some of the blood off of your face, and begin scratching some of the lesions that are beginning to form behind your ear. Because you weren't inoculated. It's still twitching. You're still twitching. You're still definitely you're de <laughs> catatonic and twitching. All right, uh, upstairs. Um, all right, so um, Ava and... So it was Ava, Flynn, and Reed together, right? That was what I thought, because it didn't really make any sense for Reed to have not gone with either group. Because we all yes. started in the vehicle bay. Yes. So it okay, made so, sense that yeah, Reed said they were she'd go with, with Flynn, them. because that's her... Yeah, that was right. It was the NPCs were all traveling together, which are now PCs. Yeah. Um, all okay. right, so heading up into the, the science sector, um, you round the corner uh, and cannot hear the horrible things that are happening downstairs. Um, heading over, you can hear... Ant, ant, ant. Uh, what? What? Whoa. The hell Self is that? Self destruct sequence has been initiated on the Cronus. What? Oh, uh, shit. Fuck. How, how do we. What do we do? It's a 10 minute countdown. Well, someone's got. Who, who's gonna go fix that? I mean, we all gotta go fix that, right? You know how to? No. All the scientists are bloody well dead, it seems like. Oh, fuck. Sorry, what were we up here for? You I wasn't paying 100% attention to read because so, yeah, <laughs> folks know what I was uh, doing. To grab samples, to grab the, uh, the, the agent, the evil, the bioweapon. All right. I mean, do we need these samples, or is there any more inoculations, Flynn? Do we uh, need any more? You and I are done, right? Yeah. Oh, that's right. You were there for the inoculations. That's what it was. I, I, they're, they're in Science Lab 1. They'll be like, we got to inoculate the others, or they're just going to turn into monsters too, right? What others? I can Our try. crew is dead. I can try. There's a vehicle down there, though. Yeah, 
And we should get out of here. Alright, so uh, if you're if you are looking for any medical stuff or the inoculations, my bad. I I, I got confused as to whether or not well, you were I think going... I think you were right that, you were that going... they were going for the stuff to destroy the bio. Oh that's right, you're going to destroy it, but now I guess but it's going now... to But well... now <laughs> Okay. Alright, so uh, what do you what do you two do? Reed, can you can you fly the ship down there? I've never done it before, but we can probably figure it out. Uh, yeah. Or you okay. can sit here and die, Flynn. No, no, let's go. Or you let's can go, take a go. chance and maybe die. Uh, yeah, I'll chance. I'll take a chance. Oh God, I'm not. I don't want to be sitting on a nuke. Let's get out of here. Okay. Uh, rushing into the hallway, I would like an observation roll from the other two of you. Uh. Uh, Which so two are from, you talking about? Pardon me, from Davis and from uh, from Davis and so it's, it's wits and observation. Uh, yes, wits and observation at a minus two because you're a distance away. Wits and uh, Davis and Miller. And we roll then, our stress Wilson. die, right? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, Wilson. Yes, you can. You roll your stress dice on this. Uh, and okay. also, Krista, let's keep you in the action. So here you go. You're <laughs> basically taken out. <laughs> so you may play Ava from here on in. It's an observation. So pop the hat one. off and you're Ava. <laughs> or take the jacket off if you're hot right now, because it is very warm in British Columbia right now. I rolled a stress dice, but I got... Two, three... Uh, six successes, and then a stress. Okay. Uh, so roll Can me I, on your... I got 17. One 17. On my stress. Okay, so you Sorry, are... observation. Oh, no, it's, it's not me. It's you guys. Never mind. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, so you take a look at Ava's sheet real quick. And, um, all right, so you are going to hear it and are going to start to panic and go catatonic because you know they're going to leave you here. I'll let you get one sentence out. Destroy the ship, Wilson. Don't let them escape. They might be infected. Don't let anyone escape. Go to the bridge. We're fucked. And then you're just gonna go catatonic. Now he has you like right inside of the med lab where you see that there was that broken pod earlier, but there is still one partially functioning, although filthy, med pod. You could put her in there, Wilson. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Uh, the med I'm probably talking to her while she's like unconscious, like. Davis, you're the only one that can fucking fly any ships. I mean, I can point stuff in a straight direction, but there's no way I'm getting this, any of this back home. And I'm going to, I'm going to get a beer. I don't care what I have to do, but if I have to kill everyone on this ship, I'm going to go home and have a freaking beer. And honestly, I don't care if I'm rich or not, but I'm going to get that if I need it. I don't care who stands in my way, but the fact that you're the only one that can fly this stupid monstrosity of a ship means I need you until you get that ship pointed in the right direction, and then I'm going to fucking cut you loose too if I have to, but not yet. So you shut up and get back on your stupid feet and then stick her in the pod. Okay, uh, it is incredibly unsanitary inside. Uh, you may make Don't me care. a medical aid roll at a plus three to turn it on. Okay. Okay, okay. Medical aid. Ooh. Medical aid, yeah. And I'm just going yeah. to look up. <laughs> and I'm assuming all of my stress. You're assuming all of your stress, absolutely. Plus three. On the bright side, once you like really start stressing out, you realize that you get to roll a lot of dice. Yeah, and until you get a tonic, it's great. Holy shit balls, Batman! What'd you get? One, two, three, four, five, six successes. Damn, son! Perfect. 
Jeez, uh, that's, right. this is what I get when I need somebody to fly the ship. Okay, medical aid. So, a person... So, the world of Alien, I'm just seeing how long it takes. Uh, recovery, a person whose health has dropped to zero is broken. If you apply medical aid, it succeeds. They immediately get back on their feet and recover a number of health points equal to the number of, uh, of dice you roll successfully. That, that's uh, a six. All right, so I need you to do me a favor, though, Robin. I need you to make me a stamina roll. This is a sickness roll uh, against... Oh, God. Um, a typical disease has a virulence of three, but there are diseases with a higher rating. If you fail the roll, you fall sick, which is one of several effects. Uh, so you are going to have to make me a stamina roll. I'm going to need as many successes as you physically can make. All right, just a second. I need to pull my character sheet because I assumed I was out of combat, so I closed things down. That's okay. <laughs> stamina, stamina. What is your stamina? Your stamina? Rye uh, is... No, not uh, rye. But, I mean, uh, where is the stamina? Is under skills? It is one of your base character... Don't have oh. any stamina. Uh, so a stamina roll is your strength roll, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. But let me just double check. Stamina is a skill. Oh, so it I is. So I have no stamina. Mm. Okay, so it's strength and stamina. Don't have that, so I just roll strength? You just roll strength, yeah. Do I add my stress? Um... That's a great question. I, uh, I'm curious because I'm catatonic, not at zero health. Well, I am because I'm broken. But. Uh, let's see. You roll for stamina against a virulence rating of the disease. Do you add stamina or stress to your roll? I mean, it's it's a roll. It's a skill roll. Um, I'm just going to double check that then. Stress level. Gaining stress dice. Uh, you... Using stress dice. Uh, by the way, anybody who wants to um, can stop panic. Uh, it takes about a turn to come out of a panic, even a catatonia. Um, but that could be a, a long turn or a short turn, depending on what, what phase we're in. But you can also make someone pop out of it with a command roll. Okay, I'm gonna... I don't see whether or not you can right off the bat, so I'm gonna say that, yes, you can stress through it. Uh, you'll roll your stress, which seems like it would act in reverse, but hey. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm I'm looking at my 12 stress dice and going, how am I not going to just go back where I go? I think... I, um, think, I think part of the thing is, if it says here, if you're broken while you're sick... You must make another sickness roll after every shift. Failure means you die. So you can include your stress, but you might just straight up die from the amount of damage that you've taken. Mm -hmm. so, stam so stamina is a skill roll. Well, you're not broken, technically. So the way that it works is once you are healed, then you take the virulence roll according to the, okay. the starter. So we're going to do this order of operations as they have it written. So um, uh, da -da -da, roll. Okay, so... Um, go ahead and make me that roll. Uh, stamina is a skill, so you may use your stress dice. Okay. Ooh, nice quick change, Krista. I just noticed. He's so prim. Uh, okay. I rolled a one on my stress dice. Okay. So you um, will you will have another panic. So three successes. Would you like to push? Uh... Sure. Because I think you're fighting the virulence of the disease, so yes. this this is probably pretty evil stuff. Uh, yes. yes. A typical is virulence three, just so you know. So three successes would be enough to survive it. I'm not going to tell you what it is until after you, you tell me if you push or not. Okay. Um. Oh, I'll, I'll push. Okay. Um, I need more dice because I need to add a 13 for my stress now. Why do I picture that moment from Terminator where Sarah Connor's telling Kyle Reese to get on his feet, soldier? Kind of. Mm. One more. Um, 
four successes, and then I panic. Four successes, and then you panic, so four successes total? Yes. Okay. And you re-rolled even your failed stress dice, right? Yes. Okay. I got a lot of twos and threes. All right. Uh, you have failed your roll. Okay. Uh, so, the following things are going to happen. It was virulent six. This is, like, super, super awful. Uh, so, one shift after you are infected, uh, you will suffer a point of damage. You cannot recover health while sick. And at the start of each shift, make another sickness roll. And if you are broken while you are sick, you are likely just to die. So I'm, I'm, how much did, because I was broken when I went to the med pit. I had zero health. Yes, now you are at full health. So two, okay. So yes, he healed you up to four. But unfortunately, this thing is filthy. And what is going to happen is you are broken, and as he activates this, it'll take about a turn. You're watching these old, like, mechanical servo arms, like crane heads, start to dart down into your leg and staple the bone and muscle back together without anesthetizing you. Uh, Make me a panic roll. Yeah, I'm... Have I woken up from my catatonic thing? This is gonna wake you up. Okay. Or put you back in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I didn't roll my panic. I didn't that's, roll my panic roll. That's what I said. From, Give me your panic yeah. roll, please. Um, 17. Okay. So uh, you are going to uh, to absolutely uh, scream and go catatonic. Um, okay. Constantly. Uh, I, I don't need think you. I can roll not catatonic now. <laughs> uh, so do me a favor. Uh, after this, I want you to roll me an empathy check, please. Make me an empathy roll. Normally you do this after the session, uh, but this is cinematic, so I'm going to do it right now. Okay, just one second. Pulling out empathy, empathy. Okay, I have empathy. Do I add my stress? You... Empathy roll. Do... Roll the attribute only not using any skill. Okay. Um, I got two successes. Perfect. Uh, you are going to, from the mental trauma, are going to gain a permanent... Um, uh, trauma condition. Roll me a d6. All right. If it's five, then that's super in character. Four. Um, you, you're going to come out of this with, de- with depression. Nice. I got depression and addiction. Woohoo. Yeah. Great uh, combination. <laughs> like I know a lot of games are very much like they lean into mental health issues. Um, I, I think that out of this one, uh, that, Depression in the form of particularly like survivor's guilt is is definitely something that could come. The rest of the options here for permanent mental trauma are are a lot more like understandable than depression. And if you'd prefer to have a different one, that's fine by me. Uh, they have phobia. Yep. Alcoholism. Yep. Nightmares, depression, drug use and amnesia as the options. Depression's the only one that strikes me as like kind of iffy depending on who you're running the game for. So uh, just a quick note to any other game masters out there. If you have players that deal with depression, they might not want to see that on the sheet. Um, whereas like same with alcoholism, depending on who you're playing with, but most of the others like amnesia and phobias, I think are pretty reasonable for this setting. I, as, as someone who deals with depression a lot, the way they did depression in this mm. is perfection. You actually it think it's good? good? Okay. It's yeah. so good. Uh, like I have good. never seen depression done properly in a game and the mechanics for depression in this are perfect. Okay. Well then there we go. I'm glad we popped out for a second to have this conversation. I'm going to leave this in. Uh, so the way it works is you're prone to episodes of depression and moodiness each day, make an empathy roll. Just the stat. If you fail, you're having a bad day. Your stress goes up by one and you can't relieve stress until the next day. You know what? That actually is really good. Cause that even people who don't suffer from like chronic depression can understand what that's like. Sometimes it's, you have a bad day and you just can't recover. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's really so good. good. Okay, I love it. Then uh, if you're fine with that one, Robin, then that's mm-hmm. what you're going to develop from this. But you will, uh, you'll you'll be catatonic until he basically drags you out. Um, you are going to hear though that as you are doing that, the other crew is looking to head down to the Daisy. From the sound of it, what do you do? What do you do, Wilson? Uh, Davis, are, are you in there? I'm snapping fingers. We need to get up and move. Um, the others are wanting to leave. I don't want to leave you here. 
give me some sign that you're still here. Something. Fuck. Uh, you can make me a command roll to snap her out of it. Okay. Uh, ooh. I actually don't have any command roll, so... Uh, I guess this is just straight up... Is it empathy? Uh, it is going to be uh, empathy, yes. Wasn't there something that only the captain can roll the command roll to snap people out of stress? Because I believe that was the captain's ability. Pretty much. Yeah, uh, another character comes to you and makes a command roll. That counts as a slow action in combat. Anybody can command you out of it, okay. but the captain is really good at it. Okay, cool. Uh, I got two, fortunately, from the stress dice. Okay, sounds good. And uh, can I get you to do me one... Uh... Okay. Uh, you are going to come out of it. And uh, what do you do? Aren't I still in the med pod? You're still in the med pod, mm -hmm. but it's, it's the glass is shattered. Oh, the glass is shattered. Okay, because I was wondering, I'm like, I'm in a pod. How can I hear? <laughs> um, we need... We need to go. We need to... You don't need to tell me twice. I mean, listen to the freaking alarms. Let's go. And I will just grab hold of her collar and start reefing her out of the pod. Okay. Uh, Robin. Mm hmm Can you do me a favor and make me a strength plus close combat attack? Uh, using okay. your new strength. Um, I don't have any close combat. Yet, so well, that'll just, that'll be useful. That'll just be a strength roll then. As he grabs you, the scent of his blood is going to just anger you beyond belief, and the camera is going to pan to where you were holding those samples that are beginning to sweat black liquid and have been for quite some time, since they haven't been kept chilled. Um, I'm going to spend my last story point to get a success because I just rolled like I rolled nothing. I rolled no successes. <laughs> All right. So you uh, what do you do? Um, I think I'm just going to. Um, uh, I think because there's. I had the f the, f the flamethrower, or get you traded it to me for the samples or something. Mm -hmm. and you can't use a weapon as anything more than a club. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. That's what I was gonna do. Basically, just pick what? it up and like butt him in the in the. Sounds good. Roll me one more it. die then, if you're using it as a club. Okay. I was like success, so two successes. Okay, two successes. Are you spending it into damage or an effect? Um, I'm gonna knock him down i believe I okay like to knock him down all right so um she is going to grunt and slam you to the ground you're going to take one point of damage wilson okay. uh, and uh she is going to loom over you're going to see her eyes begin to bleed black goo into the irises and it's now i still have armor so can i roll for that you can roll for your armor yeah absolutely so you got no okay nothing okay you hit the ground hard okay and what do you do? Uh, actually, that was technically surprise. So let's draw. Let's do draw cards. Okay, Robin, I'll draw for you first. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's gonna say, can I use my specialty? What? What's your specialty? Uh, self-preservation or personal safety. Uh, can you do that only on your turn or anytime? I'm not entirely sure because I think it's in the main rule book. Okay, it's probably a slow action. Uh, it's personal safety. Uh, it's a talent. Corpo, talent, company agent talents, personal safety. Um, if you are attacked within short range, you can make a manipulation roll. Roll straight, not opposed. Does not count as an action. Okay, there you go. Because if that's the case, I'm going to close the pod again and then crank it back on so it'll start like... Okay, so uh, you need you to make boys. me a manipulation roll. Just straight okay. manipulation to do this. Uh, do I add stress dice? You add nothing. Straight roll, nothing added. 
one, two, three, four, five, and... And your stress level will go up by one for using this. Yeah. Now, is it just, like, my manipulation roll, so it's my empathy and... It's, yeah, manipulation roll, straight roll, not opposed. Okay. Well, I still get a whole bunch of that, so... Uh, that would be a three. Okay, that sounds great. Okay, so, uh, Robin, um, you are going to take the other character suffer the attack or hazard instead of you. Uh, Robin, uh, I'm going to roll for your damage real quick. Uh, so, that means that Robin's attack is going to apply to herself. She will be knocked into the pod then, as basically she takes a lunge at you as you're lifting her up, uh, and you're going to duck out of the way and just shove her and like hit the panel. Cool. Uh, the machines are going to go back on and start like tearing into her for one point of damage uh, and knockdown. And now we're going to enter initiative phases. Uh, Robin, you have initiative. You can use a fast action to get up. Uh, yeah. Okay. And uh, what would you like to do? Would you like to attack him again? Yes, please. Okay. Wilson, you are in close combat with this creature, okay. uh, with this person. So you can use your fast action to do a block. Definitely. Okay, so uh, what you may do is both of you make me a close combat roll. And as this is happening, you're start, those of you who are headed down the hallway toward the um, so other party, um, you can hear there's a ruckus in the med lab. Are you just going? I think Reed is going to shove Flynn and yell, run. <laughs> okay. I think her motivation is protecting her crew. Okay, sounds good. And Flynn is more than happy to be protected. <laughs> he's gonna be like, okay, and then he'll just run. That is, also you know what? Thing. It's probably one of those creatures, and she's just not getting into that. Okay, mm -hmm. sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, Ava, you're going along with them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, I, got three, oh, I got three successes, and I got two, one two on my stress. Which which way is Ava or is um, Reed running? Uh, they're running down the junction, from as far as I can tell. I want to get from... back towards the vehicle bay. Okay. Yeah, so down the down the stairwell. As I have no ability to end the reactor overload, but... Okay, so... Uh, that... Actually, sorry, I'm rereading Ava's agenda, and Ava will um, presume that Reed has Flynn under control and will go towards the noise. Okay, and... You are going to draw third. Okay. Okay, so moving toward the noise. Um, okay, sounds good. Uh, what did you get? You got three successes versus one success. So close. Uh, what you can do is, um, if we're doing this, uh, if you were attacked close quarters combat. Uh, so Robin, you got one success on the attack? Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so you are going to inflict... Uh, you're going to inflict damage. Uh, oh, that reminds me, uh, Robin. You are act. You're going to be acting on first initiative and fourth initiative. You have a oh, speed okay. of two. Uh, so your first attack is going to deal one point of damage. And what are you spending your successes on, Wilson? Uh, okay. So you've done another point of damage. Then I'm broken. Well, no. You still have to spend your blocking blocking points. Okay. Um. So you can how do spend I them? spend those on? So it's inside of the blocking section of the starter, but you can use it uh, one for one to decrease damage to counterattack uh, and deal an amount of damage equal to your the rating of your weapon uh, okay. on close quarters weapons. Uh, or do a re... Or disarm, which doesn't work. So basically decrease damage or, or try to, like, hit her back. Well... She was using the flamethrower, though, right? So if I can disarm her, I'll just grab it and wrench it out of her hand. Okay. So that works for me. So she's going to take a swing at you. You're going to catch it with your body, uh, pull it out of her hand, and uh, she will be disarmed. Sounds okay. good. Then Ava is going to step over to the room and see what is happening here at the med pods. What do you do? Does um, Davis seem, like, infected? Is that what's going on? She looks very sick right now. Her eyes are beginning to go black. Uh, I wish I could show you what she looks like. <laughs> um, I, is, 
is there anything like either a sedative within quick reach or just a weapon? Uh, oh, let me just check inside of the med bay. There's a bunch of broken glass. I'll tell you that for sure. Mm -hmm. um, inside of the med bay, there is a med pod, broken med pod, um, egg sacks, and shelves, chairs. Can I grapple her onto a piece of glass? Uh, if you if you manage to succeed, yeah, yeah, let's okay. give it a test. It's so strength. Your, it's going to be strength plus close combat. And Robin, you can block with strength plus close combat. You're actually going to have a better pool than I do. Uh, I have no, because I don't have close combat as my you character. Have, you have uh, stress, Robin, though. Robin doesn't get, have I access don't have to stress, stress from, Oh, you don't have stress. She's not stressed oh, for the first time in the game. I got, I got five dice, Krista. Five. Oh, I got, that's what I got. Nice. Uh, one success and a shit ton of threes. <laughs> Yeah, three successes. Three successes. Okay. Uh, so I'll say that you're going to like tackle her back into the pod. Uh, I'll reduce the damage by one for my reduce... one success. Okay. Sound. I kind of imagine it like like that very like you said that very Michael Fassbender of just like grabbing her head and just going womp womp womp, like and trying to like skewer her on a piece of glass. That's fair. Uh, so I'm gonna roll to see what damage you take. So you are broken, but you are still gonna be able to fight until you're dead, dead, Robin. Uh, I rolled a fifty-four, my friend. I mean, how much damage did she do? Because I I have four levels of health still. Oh! Uh, so Chris so, actually needs to do damage to me. Okay, so you were trying to make her prone, right? Uh, oh, I was trying to do damage. Were you just trying to do damage? Okay, yeah. so you got you got three successes? Yeah. Okay, so you will take two points of damage after your reduction there, Robin. Yep. Uh, and let's see. That means that you also have... Just checking to make sure you don't have any armor. You do not have armor as far as I can tell. Uh, and you're immune to manipulation, which Mike's ability doesn't count as. Um, uh, that's what I was reading. I was wondering. I figured you would cash if it wasn't, so I didn't It, it wasn't. It doesn't count. Okay, so she slams you into that, and I just need... Oh, yeah, you don't take that kind of damage. What am I thinking? Okay, uh, so she slams you down. Robin, you have another action. What would you like to do? Uh, I would also like to turn to Wilson and just say... The rest of the crew are heading for the ship. Please join them. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I'm um, to turn. Okay. Who do I... So she's right on top kill... of you. Yeah. My thing is, I want to kill humans. Uh, I think I'm going to try and eke out of her way and go for um, good old Wilson there and give him hey. a, a lovely strangle. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so go ahead and make me a close combat roll. Mike, you can't dodge this one. Ooh, boy, that's three successes. Three successes? Yep. Um, all right, three successes. Um, that is going to be uh, a lot. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're going to put that into damage. So how, how do you yep. break him? Um, I think she's going to kind of lurch away from... Ava and just like just just put her hands on his neck and just with the head. Okay, so she's going to uh she's going to basically like dislocate his his neck, break his neck, but not kill him. He's going to be basically like slammed into the wall, the like crick of his neck, uh and is going to be um is going to be very badly injured. Do you get that much control, or do you have to roll to see the critical damage? It's not. It's not a critical injury. Mm. Oh, okay. Basically, that's just what she's doing. She's gonna yank your neck and slam you into the wall, which is gonna, which is going to break you. But you're not like dead. You're not broken. Okay. Uh, now we are at the top of the initiative again for this. Robin, you have your another attack. Uh, you can choose to attack him or attack the android. Attacking him will inflict a critical injury. Um, yeah, I think I want to finish him. Okay, so let's see how that goes. Uh, make me a close a close combat attack, plus two. Okay. Um, plus two is in, like, add plus two? Plus two that? dice, because he's on the ground. Ooh, okay, good, because I rolled no successes with that first five. And okay. no successes. I failed. You failed to hit him? Yeah, I rolled five... Two ones, two fours, and two threes. 
Okay. Uh, Wilson, do you have anything that allows you to act while broken? On your sheet? I don't... Uh, I, probably not. I uh, think so. Okay, Ava, what do you do? She, like, tr like he sloughs to the ground, and she is going to, like, slam her fist into the metal of the wall. What do you do? I'm gonna try to take her down again and deal with her, because... I'm assuming she's I can't do attacking. manipulation stuff, right? You cannot. She is, uh, and she's also yeah. immune to manipulation. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, all right, so, uh, all right, Ava, make me a close combat roll. Uh, so basically, both of you roll five dice, as it were, because I'm assuming that you'll use your fast to try to dodge or counter. Yeah. And androids can't push, right? They cannot push. Okay, two, two. two? Okay, so what that means is that... Uh, I'll reduce my damage by two. You'll reduce your damage by two? Okay, so you basically are wrestling. Yeah. Like, I'm assuming that, like, you grab her and slam her into a wall, and she's all... Clara! And she grabs you and slams you into the opposite wall, and you're like, trite. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Trump. Because I love the camera work on this. Very Ridley Scott. Um, all right. Going back to Robin. Um, fine. I'll try and deal with this android in front of me right now. Sounds Hi. good. All right. Make me Hi. a... Uh, uh, Krista, you have not used your fast action, so you may try to counter this. So both of you roll me five dice. Oh. Cool. Only one success. Man, no I kind of like having strikes. Okay. Uh, so she's going to deal a point of damage to you, Krista. So. Okay. You take a point of damage, and so you now have, uh, a, that is your first point of damage? Yep. Okay. Unless and, unless Ava had taken damage before I took her over. Uh, let's say her health was at probably, I think you rolled three success. No, you rolled like, like five successes to fix her? Yeah. So yeah, she would have been at full health. Okay. Okay, so top of the initiative, Robin, you can make another attack. Sweet. Krista, you cannot dodge this one. Because oh, of her God. high speed. Did you get anything? I, I fail. Nope. Okay, nothing. so you continue to wrestle. Uh, Ava, it's your turn again. Okay, both of you roll five dice. This is basically to yep. see who gets the most dice. So, I know, right? Bam, even, bam. Even, even stuff, yeah. Zero for me. Oh. Uh, two for me. Okay, so two more point of, points of damage. Are, are you, I'm broken. You are broken. Okay, <laughs> let's see how broken you are. Uh, she slams you into a wall. Uh, and is going to give you a concussion. Your head is going to cave in on one side. And uh, I'm going to let you have one last gasp, Robin, to be ridiculous. Oh. So both of you roll me five dice at one oh, last no. time. <laughs> one success. One success. Okay. Uh, so, ha Ava, what would you like to do to her? So she... Uh Probably just like if there's like a corner of a table, probably just like repeated head injury to the side of the corner of a table okay. until it stops. All right. So she's going to reach out and like grab part of the wounded, uh, wounded bit of you and start to like clawing and pulling out your Android bits, like just yeah. ripping the white. It's going to spray all over Wilson on the ground and you're just going to bang her head in until she stops moving. Wilson is lying on the ground, uh, quite badly maimed and beaten. Uh, I would like to get him into the med pod or heal him or whatever is most efficient. Sure. The med pod is the fastest. It's a plus three. Cool. And then that's, so that's wits, medical aid, plus three. Plus three. And can I get awesome. you to make me a stamina roll, Wilson? Plus three, medical aid. Literally, the only thing keeping me up at this point is my stress dice. <laughs> right. Two? Okay. Two. <laughs> three three okay uh you God, are going stress dice to get so many sixes you're gonna be <laughs> pretty sickened by this um but it is going to painfully uh reset the broken bones in your in your like scapula and uh and collarbone <laughs> and uh you are going to be back up on your feet before long meanwhile down below rushing through the other th the three crew pardon me the two crew members uh, Reed and and Flynn are going to make it down to the Daisy. What do you do? Oh, wait. Um, get us in and close yeah. and lock the doors behind us. Bar yeah, them, whatever we have to do. Okay, that sounds... And then try and see if we can fly it. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, as you are running up to the daisy, you're going to see that uh, one of the other crew members is sitting on the ground next to one of these monstrosities. Do they look alive? They, yeah, they, they're twitching and looking at it. They're holding a wrench coated in blood. Looks like she beat it to death. I'm going <sighs> to poke them. Cool, 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 cool. Gingerly cool. from hey, distance. Hey, uh, Krista, can you do me a favor? I'm going to send you something fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, God, no. Uh, can you please make me a close combat attack at a plus, uh, add three to your strength for Rai? Sure. Uh, now I am doing this very gingerly with like you may make probably a, you can make a block. Yeah, the edge of like I don't know something I'm holding with your gun. Yeah, probably. I think you, Reed is pretty okay. like you I make, don't care about you. You can make me a block, so that's close combat plus strength. Okay, uh, and then no no stress for no stress. You no longer for, have okay. stress. You're not stressed anymore. Strangely, wow. how does stress work for this? Because I actually haven't been paying much attention because I haven't had so, to use it. <laughs> you roll you roll those as extra dice. If any of those dice come up as a one, you have a panic attack. However, okay. you Otherwise are playing Reed well. now, and Reed has a special panic attack option called Overkill, where she just <laughs> kills everything instead of panicking. I saw that and I was like, I should have been playing this character from the beginning. This is my sort of character. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay, so there's my normal dice. Um... And if you do not have enough successes, you may push a roll, take an additional point of stress that you also roll, uh, okay. in, in order to roll anything that didn't succeed again. Okay. So stress dice, it's only ones that are bad. Only ones. Okay. I was fine with that. Okay. Sixes are good. Got awful close with twos. I did get a six on my stress dice. I got four sixes on my regular roll. Okay. Uh, so, um, and you got one. So Krista is going to inflict one point of damage on you. Uh, okay. Unless you spend your block to dodge that. You, what you can do is you can spend your, your successes to decrease damage on one for one. Counter attack, dealing damage equal to the damage rating of your weapon. or your six, uh, And you cannot spend additional uh, dice to increase damage. Uh, or you can disarm them. Uh... I will do damage. You were poking her with the gun. Uh huh. Should, should we assume that poking someone with a gun means if they attack you, you can pull the trigger? I would think so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a shotgun. Okay. So that shotgun does two points of damage, which everyone's means that, a little on edge. <laughs> uh, all right. So Rye, you are going to, um, are you going to decrease the damage, Christine? Because you, um, you can't spend uh, additional, you can't increase the damage of your credit attack with additional successes. So okay, you might so, I, so I can't, so I might as well spend the success to as, prevent damage to me. You might as well. Yeah. So she's Definitely. going to lunge at you, you're going to pull back and pull the trigger. Uh, Rai, you're going to take three points of damage. Uh, remember, your strength also raises your health. Uh, now I'm going to draw for you and Flynn. Okay. Krista, you are acting on a seven and on a six. Uh, Reed is acting on a ten, and Flynn is acting on a three. So Flynn, hey, hey. you have an initiative. Awesome! I am abandoning my fellow crewmate, and I am getting on that ship. That sounds <laughs> fantastic! Damn I'll, right you are. I love it. I love it. All right. Uh, Flynn, you are going to run and do that and start powering up the ship. Uh, Rai, you have two actions, and then it is going to be uh, Reed's turn. I will attack Reed. Okay. And so that's just strength, right? That's just strength. Uh, so it's strength plus close combat if you have Which it. Which I don't have, yeah. Okay. And then uh, plus Reed, three to the injection. You may choose to spend your fast action to block this but you only get one fast action a turn, Reed. What okay. do you think? Um, I should probably try and block it because it looks like she's infected. Yeah. And that's not good news. Okay, so you may uh, you may try to dodge, or pardon me, block the first one. Give me your attack roll. Your stress dice will work on this. Okay, well, Womp and zero done. for me. Okay. Okay, so it's strength and close combat again, yes. right? Yeah, but cool. uh, don't don't ever say if you succeeded until the other person 
rolls because then they'll be like, oh, I didn't mean to roll. Well, yeah, you did. <laughs> okay. So go um, ahead. So I roll that and I also roll the stress pool, right? You add your stress pool, yeah. Okay. But I roll them as two separate groups, right? Technically, because you need to know which is which. It's all going to pool yeah. together, but just so you know which is which, correct? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I, because the stress yes. one is yes. bad, but stress sixes add to my successes? Yes. You got it. Okay, cool. Yeah. I wasn't really paying 100% attention yeah. to that because it <laughs> didn't apply to me in the slightest. Yeah. Well, and that's like, that's why I, like, I had like flat color dye and then marble color dye. And so, like, my flat color dye were my stress. And my I did as well. Yeah, but I this morning, I just pulled out my blocks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. Holy All right. shit. All right. How, <laughs> how, how many did you do? Uh, well, three se- sixes on stress dice, no ones. Okay. And four sixes on my close combat. Okay. I get eight dice, to be fair. Reed is really buff. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you are going to fire a shot uh, a shot into her again. Uh, that is going to deal... Uh, it's going to deal two more points of damage. To me? Yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, you're going to dodge her attack and are going to... Uh, you can choose to disarm her to take the wrench out of her hand. Sure. Okay. Oh, I wasn't rolling damage for the wrench. Oh, well. That's okay. I w- she rolled enough that it wouldn't have mattered on either. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, Lynn, you rushed into the ship and turned it on. Um, Don't I get a second attack? You do, but I'm just, I should have asked oh, okay. him to roll a pilot check to see if he could get this thing up. Yeah. So uh, I want you to start prepping a pilot check. I'll, you know what? I'm going to say that you spent your slow action turning it on. So okay. the bay is going to start sense. filling with plasma coolant. Uh, as you have to negotiate through all of these drums of volatile material inside of there. What is this stuff doing here? Uh, so you're going to start turning on. Rai, you can make another attack. Christine cannot block this one, though, because she used her fast action. Ooh, good thing I rolled successes on that one. Uh, two. Two, okay. Uh, that You're going to take two points of damage. Okay. All right. Uh, as she slams into you uh, with her bare hands, how much, um, how much health do you have left? I'm curious. Three. Okay. And Reed, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Um, can I just push through with my overkill and like attack? Like, th- is that how that works? Or is that a stress only well, thing? Overkill is stress only, but you can okay. make me a ranged attack. Okay. So ranged combat, the way that it works is you're going to be firing into melee. So it's kind of hard to hit her. She's going to be at a minus three. However, you can't block ranged shots. Okay. So do I you're... roll my stress with this as well? Yep. Okay, cool. So you're at a minus three. You'll probably survive. Okay, so I just take three dice off for that minus, right? You take th- you three dice before you roll them, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I haven't rolled my stress dice yet, so I just take it from you, that you pool. Ta- so you take them off of, you know, you, you your stress no. dice, you take them off your main dice. Okay. Because the more stress dice you roll, the more chance you have of rolling ones. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It's how I ended up like 14 stress die, so I was constantly having a panic attack. So no successes and three stress ones. <laughs> okay, would you Amazing. would you like to push to yes. re Okay, you may re-roll, you're still going to have that panic attack though. So stress so re-rolling stress re-roll, dice only? Re-roll all dice. Okay. But plus one stress die. Okay. And did you add the plus two for your shotgun? That dice? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I did not. Yep. Okay. Well, that was good because that was extra sixes. Now to roll my stress again. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Okay. So, so it's 10 successes and two more ones on stress. (laughs) Okay, can you roll me a d6 and tell me what your total stress is plus that number? Okay, so that would have been... You're probably at seven or eight stress right now? Oh, no, I'm at more than that. (laughs) Go ahead. Um, Because each one adds to it, right? Yep. Okay, so that's added. And then plus the d6 I just rolled? Yep. Thirteen. Okay. Okay. Uh, you are going to uh, to fire and just blow her away, and then panic and go run somewhere safe. 
Where is somewhere oh, safe? Toward the ship? Reed? Yeah, toward the toward the shuttle. If Okay, by safe, are you meaning like probably instinctual what you she's just, used to you, or in the moment what she would have thought potentially? You just can't, you just can't take towards. it anymore. You must flee to a safe place and refuse to leave it. You won't attack and won't attempt anything dangerous. You're not allowed to make a retreat roll. Would it just be to get into the ship and get the hell out of here? I would think that that's cool. what her whole intent has been, so I would think that because otherwise if you're thinking like, oh, hindbrain type yeah. safe Flynn, place, then a, maybe her bunk. Flynn, make yeah. me a pilot roll. With what you sent to me in mind. You got it. All right. Uh, okay. So pilot roll is what? Agility and... Agility and piloting. Yep. Well, I don't have any piloting, so I'm running on stress dice. <laughs> Sounds great. Hey, stress dice. Uh, hey, oh, my friend. My friend, can you do me a favor? Yes. Uh, can you subtract three from your score and tell me if any dice come up as ones? So subtract three dice and tell you if any come up as ones. Uh, I believe so, yes. I believe so. Okay. I'm just going to double check this real quick because it's been two sessions since I've had to deal with this. Uh, I have three successes and a one on a red on a red die. On a red die, that's your stress? Yep. Okay. Um, you are going to fire up the thrusters and begin pivoting the shuttle around, uh, which is going to put the thrusters right on your friend as she's running around the corner. Uh, panic, like, plasma, like the, the engines are going to just erupt into you as you round the corner, Reed, igniting <laughs> you. All right. Uh, I guess Reed's dead. Uh, Reed is on fire. Worse. He's going to start yeah, that's way it. worse. Yeah, no, um, it's terrible. And hold on one moment. Uh, I have to just check one thing. So Whoa, into the ship. module proper. Whoa, up ship. Whoa, up ship. Go I was ship. gonna say, if she's running for safety, this is gonna make it even more. And there's all that flammable material in there. It's true. Uh, sleep of ages got a moment. I've been exact. wanting this ship to blow up for like. <laughs> what do you think I was doing as Lucas? Right. <laughs> it was my whole intent. Okay, I must make. You monsters. Okay, a. Okay, for. Okay, have the pilot make a piloting if it fails. Okay. Okay, uh, I am. I'm just gonna. I'm just. It's gotta happen because because it's gotta happen. Um, all right. So you are going to um, you are going to pilot and begin turning around. Reed is going to ignite, and as you do that and start like rounding the shuttle, she's screaming. Her flesh is melting as you're beginning to make your way. Toward the uh, toward the actual like airlock, preparing to remote operate it, you're going to hear something inside of the shuttle with you. Yeah. As one of the bloodbursters leans up from where it crawled in the open shuttle several hours ago, oh. and there is going to be a splash of blood as he vanishes and the shuttle bay is going to suffer a category 12 explosion as the shuttle <laughs> careens down and Reed does not have to be on fire for long as the explosion is going to rip through the belly of the ship. Uh, Ava, the shuttle explodes in the hangar. The ship begins being racked by catastrophic failure. Um, you know that there is one your programming is going to kick in and remind you there is one one final space escape pod on the ship inside of the corporate quarters that only Clayton had access to that will click back in as you are watching uh, watching Wilson be built back together and see that Clayton's key card is in his pocket from where he looted the body what do you do? do you take him there? She's going to wait patiently until he's done and then help him Ding. to the... Yeah. Um, hello, sir. 
I am Navy unit. Um, there is one. Yes, that, you are. <laughs> the ship is uh, experiencing catastrophic failure. There is yes, it is. One, there is one escape pod left in the corporate quarters. I of see course there have, is. I see you have Clayton's key card. Would you like me to uh, attend you? Um, technically, Clayton locked her key card within her own safe. I have my key card. You have your key card. You also, I think you were able to see her number as she plugged it into the safe. I think oh, yeah. you did. I did. Okay. I did. So, right, I so will you'll mention see a that. corporate key card. You'll see the Wayland Utani key card. Yes. Okay. So uh, yes, yes. You, you can make you can take him there. Do oh, you do I'll so? Him a shoulder. I know where the card is. Uh, we need to get there immediately. Of course. And she'll put an, an arm around his back and help him walk. Okay. He's struggling. Uh, all right. Sounds good. Uh, so you did not get a chance to grab the weapon samples, but you did. Uh, you do have the samples in your pocket and the um, uh, and, and uh, inoculations. And the inoculations. All right, heading into the corporate suite, the ship begins to be rocked back and forth. You move into Clayton's wardroom and quarters, and in the wall safe nearby, you'll see that there's, on the opposite side of it, there's a walk-in closet. At least you think it is, but Ava, as you walk, the door will chunk, 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 chunk. An EEV, the only one on the ship. It has three op it has three cryopods in it. Do you take it? After you, sir. Th thank you. And I will rush into it. All right. I'll Are follow you him. Okay. You and Ava board and dismount the EEV rocketing into space as the ship explodes behind you. You tumble through space, heading into the cryopods. But before you do, there's one more thing that you should probably do. As you set the SOS and leave the recording, can you please leave your final message that I sent? Oh. Uh, do you want to do that, or... Wilson, Wilson, you gotta do it. Go for it, Wilson. <laughs> okay, hang on. I'm just saving it. Okay. Uh, it, hello. Uh, this is... This is the final report of the commercial starship Montero. Uh, Wilson. Uh, John J. John J. Wilson reporting. Only... Uh, one, one and a half, one, two, two of us, one of us, I don't even know, uh, only one of us to survive, two of us survived, the rest of the crew are all dead, and, and the crew of the science exploration vehicle, Cronus, they're dead too, both ships and their cargoes are destroyed, <sighs> it's up to the colonel, colonial marshals to, to take it from here and clean this up this mess. Fuck, I need a beer. This is Wilson signing off. And with that, you enter cryo and drift into space. Into the blackness where no one ever heard your screams. In a post credit scene, a ship will pull up alongside your escape pod, a plucky crew of a, a vessel known as the, um, the, uh, the Solero is going to look some space pirates pull up alongside and discuss briefly. What do you think's inside there? Hopefully something valuable, the captain says, as they pull you on board. The camera will focus down on the vials of sample that are still slowly seeping. Well, pardon me, they're in the cryo with you. That are frozen bits of black goo clinging to the sides of the vials, cracking from the cold. And that's where we're going to end that. <laughs> uh, so that is the end of Alien, Charity of the Gods. What do you guys think?
Damn it, I tried to kill you all so hard. <laughs> that was so the reactor much, shutdown so, took too long. So much stress. So much yeah, stress. So much stress. So many stress guys. <laughs> all right, so uh, I hope you all had fun there, folks. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Alien, the role-playing game. Um, we are going to log off. Uh, thank you for watching, and thanks to all the folks on Patreon who support us. Uh, we're going to do a, a quick after-game chat that you can listen to in podcast form on patreon.com slash dorktales. Um, so consider joining, because they also got to see this episode many, many moons early. Um, but thank you all for tuning in. Special thanks to our, our Patreon supporters, our world builder, Royal Patreon, Shulton, uh, uh, our divine producer, DM Michael Gray, our demonic producer, Soul Omen and Bracarius, and our princes of the Patreon, which include the likes of Terran, Buddy, Trezelta, Cubby Gummy, Eolus, and Amberthist, who are all amazing, wonderful people who are immune to the black goo for some reason. And with that... We'll see you uh, in space, maybe. Hopefully not, because in space, everybody's screaming, and it's very loud, or something. This is the crew of the Montero, signing off. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>